Hi, everybody. Welcome to TV on. My name is Lauren Blair. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to our Wednesday. We've got an exciting show for you. It is all about and I got to say this is where where else could you find the most exotic stones in the world for next to nothing in price tags? That's really the theme of the day here because we have some stones that we don't usually see here and I know we bring exotics every day, but there are pieces that are rarely on this show. Some of the most coveted stones in the world and yet normally where people would have to go to either high end couture designers or really truly auction houses to see the likes of what we have tonight but it's all on sale and that's really the beauty of what we're going to do. I love to discount. I love a good sale. I love when you can get luxury and not have to compromise the quality you're looking for without uh, having to spend too much. And that's what today's all about. And then we can bring you classics like white diamonds that we hardly ever have because it's a different scenario. They're not necessarily as rare, but finding great quality at a tiny price is. And so that's also what we're going to bring you today. I've got two white diamond round brilliance. I've got one one carat. I've got one sixty pointer. Those are going to be great for our diamond lovers that are looking for rings, but at an amazing value. So we have those as well. And then speaking of diamonds, we've been just lately bringing out some of our best in the pink diamonds. I know it's just the other day we saw one that was a beautiful pink. We saw a beautiful purple pink and tonight I'm happy to say we have a slightly smaller, very bright, vibrant pink for you. So if you are not yet on that pink diamond train of rarity, well, this is going to be coming up for you tonight. So we've got a lot of exciting pieces. Golden pearls, one of the ones I was talking about. You know, I think that we dismiss pearls a lot because we think of white pearls and then we don't realize that there are different tiered levels of of pearl value and when you get into the Tahitians, but more importantly, the golden pearls, they get really, really exotic. So we're going to bring you one of those at an incredible price where the gold should be about triple what the ring is and that's not including where the pearl is at and we're going to give you a big, big pearl. Plus we have our rare Andalusite is here. So excited to bring that to you and I must say it's Mother's Day around the corner. We're just about three weeks away. So I wanted to let you know that we also have something that I think is a great gifting idea for all moms and really anybody who loves jewelry because we have a diamonds by the yard. Now I know you know our DB2 wise. They're as iconic around here as our world famous wondering. However, today we're going to bring you the link that we have seen the least of. We have hardly ever had this on the air. It's our 22 inch diamonds by the yard. So it's going to give you that beautiful station style that we love, but it's in a 22 inch length. So it gives you a lot of extra length that I know a lot of ladies look for, right? If you like to layer or if you want to stack or maybe just you like a longer chain that you can put pendants on as well. That's what we're going to bring you. And it's a really affordable price tag. I think uh, our most affordable that we have despite the length and the big diamonds you're going to get. So all that and more coming up throughout the next three hours. Stay with us. Get requests in if you have them. We'll be happy to help you out with those. There's even a really rare men's ring. We've got a beautiful platinum pod parasha that's certified by GIA. Some grand, brand new uh, Congolese stones are here. The beautiful blue greens that we love out of the tourmaline family. And then there's also one yellow diamond that is going to be that bigger size almost a carrot and a half. And so that's a one only. I know they've been going very quickly. Our two carrots, our carrot and a halfers, everything's been going fast. Well, we've got also one more of the green tourmaline. So we've been waiting for this because the 14 carat that I had in the green pot the other day, so many of you missed out on. So what I'm going to bring you is a four carat 32. I know not quite as big, but still enormous in the world of Pata Eva. So we'll bring that out as well. That's coming up at a great value. So get ready and remember all of those are one of a kinds that I mentioned. So that's always the key. Dial in as soon as you see something you love. This is how we start with a actually something I don't think we've ever had before. So it's pretty exciting. I can't remember ever having this stone in this style. This is our beautiful champagne diamond. And it's actually going to be at number one, one, two, three, nine, two, three. So it gets us go going on a Wednesday. And by the way, if you have anything you're looking for, anything we can bring out from the vault, we would love nothing more. Hear me out. Nothing more than to hear from you tonight for any reason whatsoever. If you just want to go ahead and give us a request. If you're looking for something in particular, if you'd like us to even get busy on creating something for you, let's do that. So again, that's where our, I, I think that instead of just sitting back and passively shopping. You can be really proactive in how you shop here, which is what's great and tell us what you want to see when you want to see it. But here is the 41 point champagne diamond. I, I know it's listed as a fawn. I don't see enough pink and purple to be a fawn diamond, so I'm going to call it a straight up champagne. But what it is is a natural stone that is going to be one of the rare varieties of diamond we see here because, of course, anything that's a natural color that's unusual outside of the white diamond arena. Well, that's going to be a more exotic. So we have champagne. We have fawns, we have pinks, we have yellows, and we're going to see all of those tonight. But this is our 41 point stone in the oval with 13 points and diamonds around it and in a great wearable style. I will tell you there's something to be said for investing into those pieces that as much as 
I get enamored with those really big stately statement styles because I think they're cool and I love them. Those are not the pieces you get to wear and enjoy necessarily every single day. And so I think there's something to be said about the more, uh, whether it's a more petite piece, whether it's something just a little bit more classic and wearable, whether it's something that's a neutral color like this is that goes with absolutely everything. There is a joy about wearing a fine piece of jewelry every single day that you know without any hesitation or any thoughts on to what am I doing for the day? What am I wearing for the day? There's those pieces that you can just wear and enjoy and live in. And I think those are the ones that are really the smart buys. And this is definitely, I think, one of those styles. So get on the lines. We have one only, and that's the problem, which is why it's starting off the day here. And it's supposed to be, and I got to tell you, some prices have gone up lately in jewelry. <laughs> that's probably not a surprise to anybody. But what's funny is, you know, we really, we do, we do our very best to keep the prices down. I think we do a pretty good job, right? If you watch the show, I think you can agree. If we We've got the leader in values across the world. I think we're doing a good job of keeping the prices down when let's face it, everything in the world's going up and gold and diamonds included in that rare colored gemstones included in that. I love what we're doing because obviously our prices have adjusted a little bit um, lately. I got to tell you, I just am. Um, I'm keeping things really, really affordable for you going out on a limb, really put my neck out there to just give you the values that you have become so accustomed to here. So um, enjoy it when you see something you love, because I got to tell you, this is supposed to be 1999. So, so right there, big red number, right? 1999. That usually means like stop right there. Don't go any lower, right? Well, we're going to go a lot lower so that you can get a really specialty price tag, get a major, major value. Value. Just one to start our show off right. It's a Wednesday night. We're glad to have you with us. The bail is actually the length of the uh, diamond bail there. So you can see it doesn't cut off at that halfway point. I know sometimes bales can be tricky. They're deceiving because you don't know how big it is back there. This is really that, um, yes, diamonds by the yard will work. If you have a DBTY, that'll work inside of that bail as well. And then you can see the classic nature of that design, halo design, continuing the diamonds through the bail in the front. And then let me show you the length and then we'll show it to you on the neckline as well. But that's going to be right at that I would say for being really particular five eighths of an inch there top to bottom it's a great look on which we'll show you next here so you can see what that looks like from a distance away and you can just see how it's no matter what color you're wearing it's always going to work there's something about those neutrals we love and that you can see and if you want to it's in the yellow gold now that you see a lot of that but if you want to change it up we'll do that too so let's go back to the wheel I'll even show you it's got an under gallery which is really fabulous because a piece like this size wise you don't expect it to have an under gallery but just to make sure that that it's going to be comfortable against that neckline. We have added all that under gallery basket work. So you've got a really beautiful way that it's going to sit comfortably, but also evenly and not tend to fall one way or the other. So that's important too. And it's not even $9.99. It's almost a half carat diamond. This is what you would qualify as a light half carat. That's exactly it. Looks like a half carat or more all day long. The fact is it's a lot more affordable than $9.99. So I really want to start the show off right. Sometimes it's a weird how sometimes it's that first item where everything else we can go through 150 items a show and somehow it seems like that first item stays and sticks around because I think a lot of people just, you know, are a little bit late to the show. If you can't buy something, if you don't see it, right? Very few people buy things without seeing it, right? That's my experience in this business. Sight unseen, jewelry shopping, not as common. So this is the way you can get something special, get it now and not even spend 888. I really just want to make this an irresistible price tag so that you can shop it if you love it. But remember, there's only one and that's that. So when it's gone, it's gone. And we're not even asking for 888 or $7.99, it's going to be even better. We'll do it for $777 just to get the show started off really, really right on a big Wednesday and give you the lucky price that I think is so important here that we're so thrilled to bring you on a big day where we're going to see a lot of one onlys that's for sure. How about that green Paraiba? We've got that beautiful neon bright minty green. So that's special and um, we're really excited. So uh, again, now, Pam, I don't know if you're watching right now, but I know you had a question via email that I just got here. So the difference between green Paraiba and Congolese, or remember the Congolese blue greens don't have a copper content that is um, verified. So we don't know, and we, we don't, we really don't think it's a copper bearing source, but we don't know until the actual testing is done. So when you've got Paraiba or Cuprian albaite, keep in mind, we're going to see some of those stones today and I'll show it to you now, for example, because here's the one that everyone missed out on in a 14 karat version and now 
Wow, I'm bringing you the best of the best in that same neon green. So let me clarify, because if one person has the question, chances are a lot of people have the question. And so this is copper bearing material. Now we've had a few of the blue green Congolese stones of late. Remember what I always tell you every a single time I present them. These blue greens have a little more blue than just green. It's a really beautiful blue green combination that is tourmaline that looks like Paraiba. These are not verified to have copper content. This one that I have here is it's that Mozambique material. It's item number 1123944. And why we're showing it early is simply this. Maybe you weren't with me. Maybe you were. If you were, chances are you were one of the many that missed out on a 14 carat that I had just a few days ago. It was actually a 14 carat 15. It was a beautiful large stone. It was this color. And this is the actual copper bearing. So Paraiba, you can call it. Cuprian Alvite, you can call it. Copper bearing Tourmaline, you can call it. All three names are acceptable. Paraiba is, of course, a reference to the very first place we ever found copper bearing material in the tourmaline world, which is in Brazil. There were two other sources since then. That was Mozambique and Nigeria. This is a Mozambique stone. So the Africana stones are generally what we see. 99.9% .9 of what you would see in the world of Paraiba is one of the Africana sources. Very, very common place to be from Mozambique. So keep that in mind. So that's just something to think about. But this is a huge stone still because remember, we see the blue green Paraibas here quite often, considering how rare they are. Usually they're one carat or under. Every now and then we'll see a two carat. They go for big money. Three carat, bigger money. Really, really, really important and unusual stone. So this is our four carat 32 that you're getting, and it's a 101 diamond weight. I wanted to start with it early because it wasn't just a few of you. It was dozens of you that missed out on the 14 carat, despite it being, it was a, a pricier piece as it well should be, but it was really highly collectible. And of course we haven't seen a lot of the Cuprians outside of just the straight up Paraiba. So when you see this stone and you realize all the neon is there, this can be that beautiful, again, bright neon minty green is what I would say. It's gonna be, have that ability to really glow even in darker light or next to no light. You're gonna still see a beautiful brightness from the stone, but also it's got a carat of wood and diamonds too, which is very similar to what we saw around the 14 carat. And also you're getting this really beautiful bright cushion cut. Now it's very clean considering that most tourmalines struggle with clarity, especially the copper bearing material, they tend to struggle even more. Here's your chance to get it. This one's a lot more affordable. And so I think it's gonna be a lot even more popular. That's really the important part. It's got a 99.99 price tag. Well, that's what I ended up offering the 14 carat for a few days ago and what a value it was, which is probably why so many people missed out on it and wanted it and, want, and, and also alerted me to the fact of, if you ever get another, show it to me because they're that collectible. And right now you can't really find them anywhere. Most of the sources, i.e. the traders, the gem, Miners, the wholesalers aren't even offering it. They're not trading it even in the areas where like the gem trade shows, right? That happen every month or so all across the world. They're not even offering them because everyone wants to hold on to them. Everyone wants to see where the value goes because they've been continuing to excel in value like crazy. We've never seen anything like it. Seriously, the gem world has really never seen anything like what the Paraibas do to escalate and elevate in their price tags. And look at the kind of shimmering light you get all the way through it. I'm going to try it on so you can get a size perspective because I would argue it looks a lot bigger than a 4 carat 32. And it's that bright. I wouldn't call it an emerald green at all. It's got more neon to it than that. It's definitely a beautiful, almost lime green color. You can see the way the light transitions through the stone. And I'm showing it early for that reason is because so many of you wanted to get one of these precious stones and it has a lot to do with our value and this one's going to be even more affordable than 99 or 89 or 79.99 there is of course only one these are the prize collectibles to own right now this is what the whole gem world is trying to get their hands on most people don't even offer it let alone price it well or price it at a discounted price i've been offering this for many many years i don't know if there's uh, anybody out in the world to be honest with you that sold more of it I, I really don't know and i don't think so so this is where you're getting a huge opportunity both loose and in jewelry i've had so many stones over the years but to watch the way and i'm an owner of many of the stones as well and i watch the price tags and the per carat price levels actually go up year after year after year. There's something you could appraise even monthly and you would find that there would be a difference in value from February to March, March to April, April to May. That's how much we're seeing these prices tick up. So make sure you get one if you love one. That's the collectability side of it. That's the great investment side of it. What's really important too is it's just beautiful and it's a beautiful piece of jewelry to wear and probably doesn't look like many stones you already have either. So it's not going to be $79.69 or even $59.99. Trying to get one more affordable than we're used to. That's always exciting. That's where, again, think about it like you do Paraiba when we see one carrots. 
90 pointers, 80 pointers that go for five, six, seven thousand dollars right here on the show and they go. What is a four carat 32 doing here for less than six thousand dollars? That's why so many people wanted the 14 carat. They, we never see them. We just have brought out a couple of late. I had a pink and a purple. I had a ruble light color as well. And now we have the big green. And now we're just bringing something a little bit more manageable. Maybe if 14 carats isn't, you know, that size you're looking for. Here's the 432, not even 59 or I love this at $5,500. We are getting really, really close to $1,000 a carat, which back in 2004, 20 years ago, almost to the day, I was debuting these in loose stones on TV and they were not $1,000 a carat then. And those were just loose stones. They weren't set in jewelry. They weren't set in gold. They had no, no diamonds around them, not a stitch. So it was just about getting a loose stone and then you were fending for yourself to go ahead and set it up in jewelry. I love that we're bringing this as affordable as we are and you're not even spending $5,000 for a scholar, $49.99. $49.99 for a four carat and a third almost in actual confirmed copper content material. So that's what's impressive and very clean for the size that you're getting here in that 432. So let's take a look at it one more time. We'll give it 30 seconds, then that one's gonna go. And then of course the Congolese stones, remember the reference point is the Congolese tourmalines, they're tourmalines too. They share a lot of the similar blue green colors, but they haven't been verified copper bearing or not. There hasn't been testing done to the point where they can actually confirm one way or the other. So we love our Congolese stones and they're very pretty as well. And we've got a couple tonight to show you that do give you a little more affordability because of that. But there's something about getting that really, really special copper content that is verified through and through. So a beautiful neon is the result. You get that bright lime green color. It's $49.99. Wanted to bring it to you early because there were a lot of people, I promised. I promised a lot of you. If I got one, if I got another one in the color, we'd bring it out as soon as possible to give you all a chance. And so that's a do not miss moment if you're waiting for that copper bearing material because that's the only one we have like it tonight. Then we're going to show you, I do have one diamond ring that that smaller round brilliant. We've got the two. Remember the one carat and the 60 pointer are coming your way in white diamonds. We also have those combination earrings, tanzanite and rubellite together, which I know so many of you have adored. So we're going to bring that out. And then do you want to see something really brand new and fun? We've got a Tahitian pearl piece. We've got a gorgeous star ruby in platinum. And then here are our Congolese just for, we'll go through um, what we have here in Congolese, which this is gonna show you how the blues and greens differ color wise, just so we can see all of them together. So you see here, let me just bring them on in because this is a more blue green variety. So we'll move that aside again. These are the not necessarily uh, copper verified, but again, one day when that testing's done and hopefully somebody, you know, a big organization is probably getting behind that and doing that now. But look at how beautiful these two Asher cuts are. So we've got two great looking stones here. One's a little more green, one's a little more blue green. I would say the left has got a little more kind of like a 70, 30 green to blue. And I would say the right side is a little more 60, 40 on the green to blue. But either way, these are the two out of the Congo. So could be a new source or it's just a really good, I mean, we know it's a new source of tourmaline. We just don't know if it's copper content or not. And so you have these beautiful colors that definitely, if anything, certainly harken back to a really beautiful pot of evil look like we're used to seeing out of those really expensive stones that are some of the most valuable in the world. So forgive me for starting with some exotics here, forgive me, but it is fun to kind of tune in and get the museum brought right to your home and show you what's new and what's fresh and what's updated and all of that. And this is what you've been asking for. So I like to bring it out early for those of you that are collectors because the serious shoppers are here early and they know that these pieces go. So let's take a look at our two and I'll give you a great price on each. They're a little different in price because the sizes differ. This is our large that's going to be one one two three nine three zero and that's going to be the 324 asher and then it's got those clusters of diamonds on the sides which is going to be your 42 points so that'll be the new one right here that's going to be the 324 again that's the larger center stone tough to tell i would say the dimensions are pretty similar so that's our 324 of 42 and then over here if you like to get a little more blue in there that would be one one two three five five two and that's the 212 so that's the 212 and that also great asher cutting 92 points in diamond is there. So you're actually getting more diamond weight here with that double halo. One more thing that they do about this double halo is they actually add there's an extra diamond right in between the stone setting and the double halo beginning. There's just on the compass points there. So north, east, south and west, four more diamonds that are in addition to your double halo. So you'll see that uh, when it's on the hand, but it's going to be white, yellow, or rose gold on your choice of. So you're going to pick your ring, you're going to pick your gold color and you're going to pick your size. What you can't do is get another one once they're gone because they're individual. So 324 on the left and of course the 212 is on the right. So let me know which one you like. They're both going to be, oh, the $49.99 price. Well, the reason that doesn't work is because just brought down the four carat. The four carat copper bearing stone came down 
to under $5,000. So that means that we can't, in good conscience, give you 324s and 212s for a price that's the same, although that's how they're marked. That's how they're listed. That's how they should be. That's where they should go. We're going to give you a better value. It's not going to be $49.99, no matter which one you choose. And we know that these stones have been very popular because they're put the rarity side for a second. The potential rarity as well that doubles and triples from where it is now. We know it's a new find and we love that. But think about this. It's beauty, right? It's a beautiful stone as it is. There are very few tourmalines in this world that have combined blues and greens. And when we have found them historically, they're either out of one of those three sources, Brazil, Nigeria, or Mozambique. Those are where they come from. And that's usually copper bearing. We have not seen the blue greens. So this is again, why there's a lot of suspicions as to maybe this does have copper content. Maybe this is a new discovery that we didn't know about until now from the Congo. So that's where again, it's all in the color. The color identifies it as perhaps, maybe it could be because we haven't seen historically blue green tourmalines when they're are not copper content, so that really is what's important here. Either way, you're spending under $2,000 because I want to make sure they move. We don't see these stick around very often, so we want to make sure the price is just right. Come on over and take a look, and we'll get you your choice of, and we're going to get you a better price than even $2,000. I'm going to do the big one for $19.99. That's the $324 here, and that's going to be under $2,019, and then we'll take an extra knock an extra 500 bucks off this one just because it's a bit smaller but remember you're getting more diamond weight there so that's going to be 14.99 for the right side and that's it that's all the green tourmalines I have today, these are the blue-green Congolese. Then, of course, our copper-bearing stone that we had in that minty green earlier available for you. So that's it. I'm just putting them all in a row so that that way you're really choosing the right one for you. You're getting the right example, the right size, the right look, the right style, and you know which one is best for you. So that's it. That's everything we got in all these beautiful, these are the blue-greens. Then, of course, that minty green from before that has that neon. And then we're going to move right along in 30 seconds. We've got $19.99 on the left, and then I'll try each one on for you. So this is the one that's that larger stone in the center. Look how beautiful and dynamic that is when you really see it face up and you really can look directly into that stone. And then that's that one. It's not pretty. So you're really seeing it's harder to see when we look down on it. It's harder to see the true colors blending together, but you see it there face up. And then for reference, here's the other, which is again 212, but a larger diamond weight. That's going to give you really close to a carrot and diamonds. And that one's going to be again, that one's 1499. What a value, right? I mean, that's just either way you're going. I mean, either way you're shopping them. These are usually the stones that we get a lot of demand for. We know that. I know it's early on a Wednesday, but just kind of, you know, give you what you guys love and always ask for and ask for more of right off the bat early. So again, $19.99 for this Asher cut. And again, it almost looks like a more rounded type of corner to this one, but it is an Asher and so is this one. And that's going to be $14.99. So a really special opportunity either way you want to go. So let me know which one's your favorite. $19.99, $14.99. Both can be changed in the gold color. Now we're going to talk about yellow diamonds, but in a unique way. Because usually when it's a yellow diamond, it's one center stone and it's a larger stone. We're going to talk something different here. It's a little more high style, a little more modern, and a little more uh, dramatic. And it's a big ring, and we love that, but it's going to be easy to wear. So this is one of those. It was made, and you'll be able to tell by the number, it was made about five, six years ago. And this is, again, when you hear me say yellow diamond at TV on, your, your mind probably conjures an image. And it's usually a stone in a halo or a bridge, something to that effect. This is very different. And this is that high style modern take on a yellow diamond ring with a bypass flare to it. Item number is 1115264. This is just a last call moment. I've got one where this has been hiding in the vault. I have no idea because I thought this was completely gone, but this is the one, the last of its kind, that super special yellow diamond cluster. Now they're put meticulously together in such a way. It really looks like you've got at first because we remember how close up this view is, right? We're intentionally giving you that really close image, but it looks like you're wearing one big yellow diamond in a pear shape. That's the first look. Then the other side of it looks like you're wearing one huge white diamond in a round and those come together. Now, is that a style we've seen a lot in designer retail lately? Yes. It's been really more than just retail stores. You may not have been in a store, but you still probably have seen this kind of look and style where two different cuts come together. We're seeing it all over the place. It's kind of the new modern take on a solitaire. Give you two, two different cuts, put them together. I think it's great for those of us that are a little indecisive or maybe just have a lot of favorites when it comes to gems and you can't limit yourself to one favorite. Everyone have, ever, has anyone ever asked you as a jewelry lover, like what your favorite stone is? And you just sit there and go, uh, wow. <laughs> How much time do you have? I mean, right? Or what kind of style jewelry do you like? Or 
Diamonds, no diamonds. That we can probably all collectively agree that if we can get them, we love our diamond accents. But this is all diamonds. You're still getting exotic colors, but you're getting the element of having a round and a pear shape together. But let's face it, if you were getting one round and one pear shape in a gigantic size, that would be a very pricey ring. We know that would be about a 15 carat pear shape, yellow diamond. And then on the other side, that round would be about four carats. So that would be looking at, you know, easily six figure price tag. Millions, right? Getting up into that, you know, six figure million dollar range, that, that kind of level, depending on where you're shopping, whose designer's name is on the inside, but minimum six figures for a ring like that if they were solitaires. Even this look, this cluster idea with the yellow diamonds that are natural put together, the white diamonds around that, the, the way that they come together here, that they give you that contrast. Let's take a look at it on though, because you're probably curious as to, okay, Lolo, that's great, but can I wear it? Can I wear it? Is that something I can wear and, and, and just enjoy all the time? Look at this. I'm going to start with it on an index finger because I think that is such a fresh way to do a ring like this. And maybe this finger is taken. And maybe this one. Maybe you wear something here and something here and something here. Look at how beautiful that looks. And then I'll turn it the other way for you. But set it at a subtle uh, diagonal here so that really works well. It's item number 1115264. 35 points in the yellow diamonds. Giving you the look of a stone that's far larger. Then you've got the 80 points in white diamonds, mostly over in this cluster, but also surrounding your yellow diamond pave in the middle. This is the last of its kind. I know it's not for everybody because this is not classic. This is definitely something that's more modern, fresh, updated, different style. You know, all the things that maybe we're looking for because we look at our jewelry collection sometimes and everything's looking the same because we like what we like. This is what is so exciting. It's going to be that one special piece and I need a caller who loves it because guess what we're going to do? We got a carat 15 total weight in diamonds. Obviously 80 points in, in white diamonds alone is pretty impressive. And yet here's what we've got. And isn't that impressive too? When you think why, how does that look? It almost looks like it'd be more in the yellows, doesn't it? But remember, these are big individual stones that are set here. You've got that extra halo around this pear shaped section over here. They come together as if they are floating, but side by side, it is not going to be. And this is what's so exciting because I love a $3,000 value on a ring like this when it looks like something that should be six figures or more, but we're going to take it even lower. Do you see that this just, there's a really special way that they set this where the pave is done, but they actually filled in the gaps between any round brilliant diamond with gold. And that makes the difference because then it becomes, and this is the better angle to see it where it's just solid. That's what gives you the look like you're wearing a big old rock, like you're wearing a huge, whether it's an eight or a 10 carat yellow diamond, that's an impressive look. So you get that all with this great ring that's going to be under 3000 under 2000 and we're going to make this really easy because I just want to hear the phones ring. I mean, sometimes you just need to hear like I'm addicted to hearing the phones ring and just to make sure that we are all ready to go and ready to shop the giveaways that I do because I've been guilty of giving jewelry away lately and um, you know, that's what that's what I do. That is my job. After all, I take it quite seriously. And so what should be illegal is really something that we just all gather on these nights and have fun and I give away jewelry and you adva take advantage of it and it's everybody's everybody's ideal, right? And maybe you're going, you know what? It's that busy time of year. I don't know if I'm going to be shopping to find jewelry for myself right now. If I make the price tag so ridiculously low, I bet you you can. And you'll never look back and never regret when you shop the deals like this is. It's not even $1,000 for this entire ring. It's got a care of 15 in diamonds. It is truly unique and unusual. This is the style ring that you wear that everybody recognizes because they know it's different. It's new, it's updated, it's different, it's bold. It's all the things. And most importantly, I think too, it's really the look right now. And that means, you know, not what that we're just seeing it now in the next couple of months. It's really a style that's here to stay. It's been going strong for a few years in the couture world. And yet that's great for people that have got millions of dollars to spend, but how nice for the rest of us to get something and spend less than a thousand and get it for $999 only. And that is special. That is really, really special. So enjoy it. If you get it, it's $999. We'll give it 30 seconds, then we got to move. We're going to get into white diamonds as well. And we're going to have those on the way. And that's exciting. But I, I tell you, with the limitations we have on yellow diamonds right now and the big stones, the same thing applies when we have something smaller as well. No yellow diamonds are easy. No yellow diamonds are easy to source or easy to match or easy to set. And that's what this ring has accomplished all for under a thousand dollars. We've got a great bicolor tourmaline coming up for you as well. So that's going to be here. You name it. We got it. So challenge me tonight. Challenge me. Give me a challenge. Give me a stone. You don't think we could have. Give me a stone. You don't think we could make affordable. 
Call me and tell me what stone you'd like to see, and I bet you we can bring it out and make it affordable all at the same time. Like again, golden pearl and lucite. If you want classics, we've got those too. So that's important, but all you got to do is dial in if you'd like that ring. And then we got the big mandarin here. Blowout time on a big mandarin. It's only the largest one we have. It's set with about a carat and a half in diamonds. Do you like that mandarin? because that one's very, very important. And if you want to go big and bold, no better way to do it than that Mandarin garnet. And so that's going to be here as well. We've got a big gold quartz, outstanding. This is a new ruby. Look at the star ruby. That's a great mounting too, with all the fancy cut diamonds and baguettes wrapping around it. Almost looks like a, a pretty floral or a pretty present. We've got a really good earring for you as well with some color. And who says that you just need to have one color? Pick two. Get two colors, and that's what we have here, one of the most unique combinations that would be a challenge to put together even if you had access to everything out there. This is a combination of two things. You're going to get rubellite tourmaline, and I know, forgive me, these sit a little odd because they're you know, meant to be a drop earring in your ear, not sitting on a turntable, but this is where you're getting that two combination stone, tourmalines and tanzanites, which could be the subtitle of my biography, certainly, um, but that's not the name of my book. Do you guys know the name of my book? Have I ever told you guys what the name of the book is? I don't even know if I'm allowed to say. <laughs> the publisher might not allow me to say that quite yet. We're not to, you know, that, that point yet. But um, it, we'll get there. We'll get there at some point. But anyway, um, this could be an alternative title for sure. That's rubellite in the middle in a tourmaline round. Of course, this one's fingerprinted. And then that's actually fancy cut tanzanites that are all around it. And that's going to be your trapezoid cut tanzanites that are all those gorgeous stones. And somehow they managed to create the perfect hexagon without creating any gap around your fabulous rubellite. It's in rose gold, I'll just borrow this one. They've got those little stoppers, which are actually gold, and then there's silicone around it so that they can really just be a nice little size for you, you don't lose them. This is gonna be one, one, two, three, four, four, two, and they look like this. We started with the 18 karat rose gold, and so I'm gonna leave that stopper in just to remind you that it's a little different than normal. It's got the 18 karat rose gold, and then you've got the diamonds up front. That's diamond pave. Total weight and the diamond weight is gonna be eight points, but then we're really talking about the rounds. The round of the rubellite, carat 44 there, so figure you got almost three quarters of carat, then a carat 20 in your tanzanite as well. So all done in 18 karat rows. They've got great finishing in the backdrop as well. You can see how it's just going to replicate that uh, hexagon style. And then I'm going to remove that stopper to try one on. So excited about these great length. And I'll show that to you again. But you know what? Just for the sake of getting this pair out the door and seeing if we got anybody with us tonight, we'll do them for a dala to the first caller. How does that sound? Just a simple, easy deal so that somebody can, well, we'll sell something. You know, we got to do that. And then I'll try one on for you. Here's the length, by the way, Tony, before I try one on, just so you know. I mean, obviously worth it. That's about uh, seven eighths of an inch from top to bottom. They have a simple shepherd's hook design and I'm going to go ahead and put one on the ear for you and they're still here. Well, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. I was really hoping those would sell. Um, that's what they look like on if you're in case you're waiting to see if they're actually worth that. Um, they are. I really think they are and they're beautiful. And so sounds like they might be gone unless that's a phone call for something else. Let me know, Allison, who's got them. OK, you've got them. All right. Sandra's got them. Thank you so much. They're gone. Take another look at our wheel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you all with us tonight. I'll pay for those. Sandra, you get them. Very nice. Enjoy. Where's she calling from? She's in Michigan. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. All right, let me also show you this ruby. And we have the diamond rings, two diamonds tonight. Good to see you all with us. All right, good. So we've got a few of you. All right, that's good to know. Now, this sits a little bit of an angle only on the wheel, but let me show you what this is. One of the most immaculate stars we've had in a ruby. Thanks so much. Enjoy those earrings. You're very welcome. <laughs> I know it's really it's kind of a fun day to shop with us and there might be a little more of that going on. You never know, but um, you got them. So congrats. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We've got a special star ruby. I'm going to prop it up for you here so you can see what it's all about. One, one, two, three, four, six, four. It's brand new right now. So brand new and you love it. It's so cool. It's platinum. First of all, it's a solid platinum piece. <clears throat> Those are all really, really big diamonds around it too. I love the, especially at the top and the bottom. Those are marquise cuts that you have. And then some rounds. Did they put a couple rounds? It looks like a couple. And then the baguettes swirling through channels here. So this is going to be platinum 203 on the ruby. It's a natural star ruby. You know what's funny about rubies? Sometimes the star rubies are really just verbal sapphires. The most ideal form of corundum, sorry to sapphires and sorry to say this, but do you know that ruby is the most ideal form of corundum? Sapphires and rubies are part of the same family, but rubies are always the highest end. This is what you're getting, 203 plus 87 points in diamonds as well. 
and that's going to be all those bigger diamonds that you have. Now, here's what we've got for you. A beautiful look. I want to just kind of, I'm going to try to hold this with my left hand and walk around here at the same time and block one of the lights just so you can see that's how it's going to look in person. See how there's two stars all of a sudden? When my hand goes in front of the right side light, that star is blocked and there's just one remaining. And so there's your six raid star. Natural, yes, through and through. Here's what it looks like on. It's that super elongated length, which I think is so elegant. This looks like a, to me, it looks like a piece you'd find at like a really high-end auction house where you'd see that, you know, vintage estate sale or something. And we don't sell used jewelry, by the way. It's just something that, you know, I know a lot of places that have fine jewelry do, and it's used jewelry and it's pieces that have been worn and sometimes, you know, for many, many years, and that's all fine and well, and there's a market for that. But just so you know, I mean, we don't, we don't sell that. It's all just, you know, brand new manufactured pieces for you. But this is specialty and has that almost, looks like a custom piece in every bit. Every part of it looks custom. And it's gonna be really affordable because that's obviously what I gotta do. I got to make everything affordable, really ridiculously affordable if we're going to move jewelry. And trust me, that's what I'm here to do. I've been through enough Aprils in my career to, to understand that's what you got to do this month. Every single one of them. So here's what we've got. A $4,999 ring. Not $4,999 right now. We have one. Let's blow it out. It's in platinum. You can't beat that. Highest end metal you can make jewelry out of is right there. Plus all those bigger diamonds. Plus that really special star stone, which is an unheated ruby. If I had, oh, I have a two carat ruby today. But my two carat faceted ruby with no asterism is about five times the price. So this goes for value right now. And by the way, that $5,000 is coming lower. We're going to make it $1,999, first caller only. We have a diamond deal today in diamond earrings, by the way. I love it for Mother's Day. I think maybe you would even have the set opportunity to get something in a necklace and something in an earring and maybe even get your favorite person all decked out in diamonds. Head to toe. Well, maybe not. We're not doing toe rings or anklets today, but we're going to get you covered from the waist up with diamonds. We've got all kinds of special pieces in diamonds and they are affordable. So really looking forward to that as well. Get us a request if you have them too. Nobody's challenged me with any gemstone requests so far, but Andalusite, we got it. Uh, really, really rare gold quartz, we've got it. Golden pearl, got it. So we've got the rare. We've already had our Congolese and our root and our beautiful Cuprian. So now we're showing you something exquisite in the ruby. I know we're going with some rare exotics here, but Again, forgive me for bringing out the best of the best. We just got them today. So here's our 60 point diamond. So I mentioned there'll be a one carat a little later. The one carat is a great value, but the one carat is significantly more substantial in price tag. So this is what I want to do. This looks almost identical to the point where I'm just going to go ahead and show you the one carat that comes along later. So you can see them side by side because the visual difference, I don't see it even side by side. That is, let me move this over a little bit. Here's the one carat, and there's the 60 pointer on the left. There's only one, and I, I just, I really must say, this is a bridge obviously in the right side. I'm seeing a little less body color in the 60 pointer as you would expect. So that's something to, you know, just keep in mind if you've been looking for a white diamond from us and you see the occasional one carat diamond that is certified, and that has the six and seven thousand dollar price tags. I think the lowest we've ever done a certified diamond ever in my eight years here has been forty seven seventy seven for a one carat certified diamond. If you don't necessarily need a cert or you don't necessarily need a one carat, this is a 60 pointer, still a substantial size in diamonds hitting one of those magic sizes. Certainly it's getting close to two thirds of a carat range, but well over a half carat. And the great news is, well, we have a discount because there's only one. And I know how many people have been looking out. I've been having a lot of people reach out lately. It must be engagement season because it just is that time of year where any given day, tons and tons of emails and messages about, I need help finding a diamond. And the inventory is sparse. When, when you guys, again, ask for help via TV on, it's one thing if you've got access to New York or LA, not everyone in the, our viewers mostly don't. We've got viewers that are between those two points of the coast that may be a little more difficult to make the trip out to one of the big jewelry wholesale districts. So if that's the case, and you're looking for us to help you out, there are really three white diamond options in this show. And it just so happens that two of them are on this show tonight. And this is one of them. And this is the most affordable one. And it is to emphasize a one. So that's it. We've got the one here. It's going to go very quickly. Take a look at it. It's item number 111, 1428. So anybody who's looking for engagement or not, it doesn't need to be. There's a lot of people who love white diamonds and wearing them every day. 
whether it's on that left ring finger or not. So that's the beauty of this stone and 60 points is what you get. 56 points are beside it. That's also I like the significance of what I call the hidden heart mounting. We've had it forever and ever and ever, and it's got the double halo that leads into that sideways heart design that is subtle when it's on the hand, but you see it there up close. And we have, of course, you're getting a total of a carat 16 overall in the ring. We only have one. It stays in the white gold. I can size it for you. So that's the good news. We'll size it to whatever you need, but it's got to stay as is in the white gold. We're trying to show off the colors of these diamonds here, or really the lack of color. You don't want a lot of color in your diamond. You want it to be pure. You want it to be color less. You don't want it to have browns or yellows or murky, hazy colors. You want it to be bright and just see the brilliance. And that's what this stone delivers. And we're going to make this really easy. It's under $2,000. Call me quickly if you love it. And then here's what we're going to do. We'll make it super simple. If you love to have something in white diamonds, the paw request. Good. Not exotic, but fun, right? Agatha, we've got your request coming up next, so we'll share that with you. And then here we go. Not 2000, 1999, 1888. We're going to do better. One only big white diamond. Again, the one carats later, but it's got a bigger price tag by a mile. So it's a great value, but this is the one to get if you want as much affordability packed into a big diamond as possible. And getting the VS stone is important. Having clarity like that, important. Let's make it, you know what, not even 1777. Just send it out. Got to make sure it goes. We're going to send it out for only $1,699. That is it. What a day to be with us. Glad you are. And this is where, again, requests are welcome, just like Agatha did. She called in. She said, I want to see the pawn necklace. We have it. And we're going to give you a discount. And I just saw that there's only third actually 14 of them left forever and ever and ever. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to tell you a little bit something about this necklace because it is an entire necklace, not just a pendant and how significant it is. Um, this was designed something that I requested many, many years ago that a lot of you uh, share my passion for animals or your pets. And that is what I think so many of us adore. And, and jewelry is a great way to have meaningful pieces with you. You know, we're not always able to take our loved ones with us or our pets with us, but this is the way whether you're actually taking them with you in their energy and their spirit or the memory of them with you. I think that we love to honor people and our pets with great jewelry. And this is one that we designed many, many years ago. So it's a little bit of a bittersweet moment in that I'm just looking now and as it came out thank you Agatha for the request because as it came out just now there is a specific note that there are only six left in the white gold six left in the yellow gold and then only two left in the rose gold to go around forever so that's going to be our last call and this has been a bestseller over the years this is not a piece that now granted if you're not a person that loves animals or pets okay then it may not be for you but you still might think of it as a gift idea for somebody. And the idea is that we wanted, I don't know if you remember this, but many, many years ago, we did the itty bitty collection. It was something that we can't even, we can't even do anymore. It was discontinued because we cannot make the itty bitty collection for anywhere near the prices we once offered, just because gold is so much and diamonds are so much. But this is the idea where a lot of you said after the itty bitty arrived, you said, how about something with a little more showy quality? How about something that is not so dainty, but really shows off the sentiment that's built into this actual pave. I call it the pave because it's the paw in pave diamonds. So it's really popular because, well, again, a lot of us animal lovers adore it. And for, you know, what would be thousands of dollars out in retail, that may not be how you choose to wear a piece like this or to invest into a piece like this. But when we make it so affordable as we are, I think that's where a lot of people can take advantage and even gift it as well. That's what I love about it is that if you know somebody who adores their pet, maybe it's the new pet mom, maybe it's um, maybe it's somebody who's who's lost. We know that uh, how devastating that can be. We know how difficult that is to get over. And there is something I find very, very um, I, I can speak from experience because I wear pieces to honor my pets who I've lost, um, who were really soulmates. I, I wear pieces to honor them every day, multiple pieces. So including my signet ring. So this is where keeping them close to your heart in this way is really special, but it's last call. So I'm telling you all this because a lot of you know this piece. A lot of you may have thought, well, it's a mainstay. I can call at any point and get it. This is last call. When these 14 pieces are gone, we can't make it again for you. So this is the time to take advantage of. I'm going to start with it on the hand because we're going to show it here. As you can see the size, that's the back. And then I want to show you the front. This is pave and solid pave. And then it's the paw, which you can see is a nice presence to it. And then you're also going to get the entire chain. It's a necklace, so it's attached and it's 1110454. And by never updating the ad number, that means we didn't have to update the price tag and we didn't have to update the gold and we didn't have to update the diamonds either. And you're getting almost a half carat in diamonds, 43 points. 
paw necklace. This is the big version, not the itty bitty that had like accents and diamonds. It was mere just accents. This is a full 43 points and look what we did. We're a step ahead of you. If you're thinking gifting and you're not sure what length she needs, let me guarantee you this is going to work because we've included three different lengths, 16, 17 and 18 inches in length. So you can wear it at any of those lengths. You can give it and rest assured she will be able to have her favorite length built in and you can choose the white, the yellow or the rose gold for the time being. But once they're gone, they're gone. And this is the perfect, perfect piece. And um, the just the way that it's made and it's so beautifully done. And because you have that diamond weight, it looks like a piece that could easily be three or four thousand dollars. I don't know about you, but if that's the piece that you're thinking, oh, it's a bit whimsical and I'm, I'm not sure, but then I think when you get it at home, you're gonna end up wearing it every day and you're gonna realize it was worth spending four or five thousand or three or two. And then it just is lovely to know you didn't have to. All that quality, all that design, all those VS diamonds, and you didn't have to spend three thousand or two thousand or one thousand. This is last call. This price has been the same for as long as we've been offering it, which is, I, I can speak for, I mean, this is one of my first pieces that I requested we design. And so I will say right now, this has been here about seven, eight years, and you know what? The price has never moved up a penny. And that is exciting. And it's not even $9.99. And you can choose the white, the yellow, or the rose. But remember how limited we are, and it's a last go around. And you can see the size. I'll show it against the neckline here as well, so you can see it from a distance, because that's what you requested. We had the tiny version, and you said, I want something that's a little more bold. I want to show it off. I want the conversation piece. I want people to see it and notice it. And I don't need to necessarily layer it with other things. I just want it to be the piece that you wear on its own and everybody recognizes instantaneously that it's that great paw design. They know you're an animal lover, right? You are maybe a pet owner and this is what it's all about. Not even 888 or 777. Got a huge value. I love the diamond cut chain we put in. Could have opted for a smaller more basic chain without diamond cutting. It would have been more economical to do so, but we wanted to make sure it was done right. All the sparkle in the chain has to match the pave of the diamonds and it's not even $777. So you've got a quick last call. And here it is again on the hand. Yeah, I'm gonna show it up close too. I mean, you guys know our pave is pretty standard and let's take a look at that just so you can see how it's built and then we'll show you the inside as well. So you can see, look at that stunning pave all the way through, how each section has that border of the mirror finished in the gold. Of course, never gonna flip around when it's on the neckline because of those O-rings, the way they're situated, and it's not even $700. It is $699, and that's it. And so we've got what we've got, the last call on quantity and gold color. Great gifting idea. Maybe it's something you get for all the sisters or all the daughters or all the granddaughters. This would be the piece that everybody can enjoy wearing. You know, not a lot of people step into more whimsical designs if it's really costly. Costly. But I think when it's $6.99, you can do so and you can really have a piece that, trust me, is going to make you feel amazing having that on if you're wearing it yourself and it's especially if it's honoring uh, your, your favorite furry friends. So that's going to be $6.99. We'll give it a final, final, final 60 seconds. And one of our old standby favorites here, not very often we get to bring it out. We have tallied up the final call, final count. And again, if you're asking for it beyond this point, it's probably going to be a, I'm sorry, that sold out deal and it's not coming back. Or at least if it did come back, it would be a very different price based on more today's gold and diamond pricing. So $6.99, if you'd like it, thank you, Agatha, for the request. And I'll show it on the hand again. So nice size. Remember the measurement there of the paw itself. We are very busy operators. If you'll do me a favor today, please let me know what you're getting so I don't sell oversell things because that is a problem. Already on thin enough ice with my pricing, and now, you know, again, I don't want to oversell pieces that we don't have, that we have to make, that cost us like 10 times the price to make as they cost us to uh, sell them to you. So there you can see there. You see that? It's a great look, isn't it? About five-eighths of an inch from top to bottom and about the same width-wise. So it's got that great showy look. And then what color are we getting over there? Don't forget, we do even offer rose gold. I wish I had the other colors in the studio here. I do not, uh, since this wasn't planned for the show. But we do have the white, the yellow, and the rose all ready to go. They can ship out tomorrow. I mean, there's no sizing needed on this. There's all three gold colors as long as you shop them early, so you can get it right out. Yes, Jason. Oh, good. The pendant from the first item of the show is gone. Congratulations. Well, they're not going for the paw, but they're going for a different pendant, and they'll love it. Thank you so much. And then here we are. Last call on this one. Let me know. We have backed up calls, so bear with us if you're waiting to get through, and we'll be right with you. What color, Jess? Thank you. Yellow gold going out over there. So we've got a white gold over here. Thank you so much. So Allison's got the white gold. Jess has got a... 
Okay, switching the yellow to a rose now. She probably said, wait a minute, if you do have rose gold? Oh, great, I'll take one. Just a reminder though, we only have one left in rose gold. Started with two, down to one. Very urgent now if you want the rose gold and we are backed up on the phone line. So please bear with us. Patience is gonna be a big virtue tonight. A uh, little limit on operators. So that's that. So 699, last call on this one. I know it's an icon. I know a lot of you have seen it, but it's one of those that I think we think about and we know we're gonna need it at some point for a gifting idea perhaps. Maybe you already have one and you love it. And then when the new pet owner in the family arrives, you wanna get them something very special and sweet. You know, when we, when we have to go through and experience loss and when we all do with the pets, it's really, really, it's a difficult one. So this is really where something comforting about wearing that symbolism on your neckline. And I love that it's a necklace because it's, you know, truly literally near your heart. So that is how you keep them near your heart as they're in your heart. So that's gonna be one left in rose. We have another white gone. So now down to three in the white gold. So halfway through our white gold quantity here that we started with and remember retiring design. If it comes back, and that's a big if, because I really hesitate to remake things, I'd rather just make new pieces for you than bring something you know back at triple the price or four times the price. So I'd rather just say retiring design and then maybe make something you know a little bit different in the future. But last call, Andy, what color are you getting? White. Two white gold. Okay, so now we have only one left in white gold. Pretty urgent right now if you want the white gold. Very urgent, white and rose now, each down to one remaining. That's it, $699. Agatha, I think, can't thank you enough for the request because look at how happy this is making a lot of people on the phone lines. Our lines are still locked up. So this is a favorite. And again, it's finished beautifully. It's all mere finish. I'm trying to flip that over. That's the back. I mean, it's hard to even tell the front from the back, except one is concave. Did you say white gold? All right, so we're verifying that last white gold. Sounds like that one may be gone. It's just yellow gold and rose gold now, perhaps. All right, so we'll last call, 60 seconds left. And then we'll get you in if we need to, but I hope that you'll pick out your favorite. Think about gifting ideas. $6.99, a gift they will treasure and cherish. I just think that pieces that have a personalized touch, that have meaning behind them, there is nothing like giving jewelry that means something. It's not about what you spend. Some of the most important pieces I have and own, not necessarily the most expensive pieces I own, right? It's because they mean something. It's about who gives them to you, the thought behind it, the reason, the event, the milestone, the, the significance, the symbolism. That is really why I think so often why we wear jewelry. And I, I know it, we can buy pieces because they're rare, and we can buy pieces because they're pretty, and we can buy pieces because they make us smile, and those are all great reasons too. But it's something when it has meaning when it means something to you or to a loved one you're giving it to, those are the pieces that are really priceless. And to be able to put a teeny tiny little $6.99 price tag on something this significant and substantial in jewelry today is really, really amazing. So congrats if you got one. Last call on the rose, last call on the white, and yellow gold still in abundance here. And I wish we had the yellow gold. And even if you have the itty bitty, I will say if you're lucky enough to own the itty bitty from years past, they layer beautifully too. And maybe that's going to be symbolic of, you know, the younger and the older puppy, right? It could be just a great symbolism. They just stack really well. So you could always wear, I would say, the itty bitty a little higher, maybe this a little lower. Remember how easy it is to do because you have the adjustability built into the chain as well. So you can easily adjust it and layer and stack thanks to that adjustability built in. So last call, $6.99. Okay, let's move on. We've got still the, um, don't forget about the diamond piece. The big diamond ring, the 60 pointer, and then here it is. I gotta show you the bi color actually. Here's what I've been waiting to show you. We had that request, but look at this. Perhaps the finest of all of our bi color tourmalines we've ever seen. And I mean that because of the saturation of each color and the 50 50 split. Oh, what a stone! What a stone. It's item number 1122961. There is only one. Keep calling on the paw necklaces because our pave is popular as always, but it is very, very limited now at this point. So gotta grab one of those. Don't forget about the Paraibas and the Congolese tourmalines we had earlier as well that are still awaiting their homes. But this, this is the one carat 96 by color tourmaline. Love having this in this setting too. Very classic, but a little just nod to the art deco. It's got a carrot 96 in the tourmaline, green into pink, which means you can call it watermelon tourmaline. That's proper as well. And this is 58 points in diamonds to go with it. So a beautiful design flares down to the sides where it's got a little bit of that split and then goes into one. 
one row, you see how the diamonds, they actually do that by going smaller than into larger diamonds, where you've got to go from that split into that one row, and then look at that color and clarity. Oh, that's pretty. And when you see it up close, it looks almost golden, like the golden flashes come through. So it's one only. I'll blow it out right now. First caller can have it. I was going to do $14.99 instead of the $2,299 it's got to have. I'm going to make it a little bit better because we're really just again six minutes left in this hour. Want to move some jewelry before we get to our top of the hour, which is a big one. Stay with us. We got something really special and rare for the top of the hour that we hardly ever see. So I can pretty much guarantee you don't have one of these yet. So stick around for our top of the hour. I want you to see what it's all about. And I uh, didn't give you the grand reveal on Tanzel night, but I will let you know at the top of the hour where we stand. So here we are. Not even $9.99 for this ring. Only one. That's the crucial thing to remember. Most everything I show you. That paw necklace was one of the few exceptions to that rule, but this one's going to be 949 instead. Let's just really give you the discount on discount on discount and make sure you get the best value possible as always. That's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to bring. And don't forget green pot of Eva under $5,000. Yes, we had one. It was here earlier. If you need to see it, let me know. But that's our buy color and what a beauty it is. Now, some of you missed out on a gold quartz the other day. And the reason we had a lot of people talking about it was because it was one of those unbelievable values. It was a little miscalculation and some calculation of the mounting and the stone and it got down to a really low price tag. A lot of you asked if there's anything like that. Well, I found something, but it's got a bigger stone with bigger diamond weight, but it's going to be a blowout price. So we'll make it work. The buy color is verifying right now. We'll see who's got it. We have about four and a half minutes till the top of the hour. Stay with us. Big top of the hour coming up, but I have to show you this. This is what a lot of you asked for. Let me know who's got that. Buy color tourmaline, and here it comes. The gold quartz, the big one. We had a five carat the other day. It was an oval. It was in a bridge. It had big diamond weight. We're going to top everything here. And yet, so many of you said, oh, I missed out. I missed out. I couldn't get in in time. I missed out. That's why this one is coming down today in its cost. It's 112 1982 and it's a five carat 20 gold quartz. Gorgeous. Tons of that 24 karat gold throughout. You know, that's why the bigger stones cost so much more, right? When we have the one and the two carats, they tend to be more affordable as we would expect them to. But a lot of you have asked, why is it that the big stones like the five and the six why do they go up exponentially in their price tags? And that's because, well, you guys know about gold and what it's doing. Remembering that this is 24 karat pure gold within that stone. That's highly valued. We know how pricey gold is right now, even when you alloy it to make gold jewelry like this is 14K. That means it's alloyed. It's got to be tougher. It's got to be strong to hold those diamonds and hold that gold quartz and give you an under gallery. What's within the stone? is 24 karat pure. Think about how valuable that is. It's weird to say because we sell jewelry, but if you got buy coins, you know. How many gold coins you see out there? And what are the prices on gold coins? Because you can really, it's not as easy to understand unless you're buying gold bars, what gold's at by looking at a number printed on the internet. There's always published, daily published prices on where gold's at, price per ounce. This is where again, it relates because even our gold jewelry, it's still alloyed, so it's not pure gold. When you get a lot of pure gold like this, that really drives your price upward. And so when you've got a gold quartz and it's a bigger size and it's showing and displaying a lot more gold like this one does, more gold than it is quartz, right? Look at that, it's the majority of the stone. That's why they get so highly valued. That's why they extend up in price. And then you have a carat and a half in VS diamonds to go around it and this is your under gallery. Look how beautiful this is in every way, in every respect, looks amazing. One only, white gold, I'll do it. Rose gold, I'll do it. I'll offer those adjustments, even with this price crashing down. This is here only for one reason. It's supposed to be, I'm gonna show you, it's $59.99. There's the piece, there's the price. The problem with that is, a lot of you called in and said, I missed out on the five carat, I understand it was a big problem, mistake price, all that, I want one. I want one in that price. I get, I get it, the five carat oval's gone. That had lesser diamond weight, lesser stone weight, and this one's going to be more of what we love. This is why I'm bringing it out. It was the closest one in the carat weights. I thought, let's bring this out. If we can discount this one, we're gonna make somebody happy who perhaps missed out on the previous version. But that's what we're doing here. This is not gonna be $59.99. That's what it's always been. That's where you've loved it. 
but now it's got to go and we're trying to help everybody who missed out. It's the same reason we brought out a green Cuprian earlier tonight is that so many of you missed out on the 14 carat we had the other day and that was a $10,000 piece. So we brought another one out for you and that's it. That's what we've got in the green Potaibas. And now we're doing it with the gold quartz and bring you a value that you'll love as well so that it's not going to be 59, 49, 39, 99. Here we go. One caller gets it. Fabulous value. We'll make it $2,999. And one caller gets it. $29.99. And you get an incredible diamond weight with it. Of course, a carat and a half even in the way that's encircled with the halo, the bigger, wider sides of the band, all of that. And you get it for under $3,000. Huge opportunity there. Let's get to our top of the hour. We're about 30 seconds away. So we'll count it down. Welcome in. We're so excited about this top of the hour. I know you're going to love it. If you have any questions on anything you've seen, Congolese tourmalines, Pata Eva tourmaline, Star Ruby, yellow diamond piece, or the bicolor, all we've got uh, gone is the, well, the earrings sold. <laughs> you know, the earrings and then the paw necklace and the fabulous champagne diamond gone. But those rings are here. It sounds like it's a necklace in earring day. Thank you. This one is sold. Congratulations and enjoy. We have time for perhaps one more. So let's just do a quick little blowout on this cat's eye. We're going to go from gold quartz to a phenomenal. Wow, that's a great phenomenal. Look at that. This would be fun to block the light and see. Yep, still glows. Chatoyancy that's still glowing. It's item number 1123638. That would be a cat's eye crystal barrel, beautiful golden green color, and it's a two carat 60 in that chatoyant stone. Look at this great durability to uh, crystal barrel, by the way. So it's the part of the um, remember it's the overall gem family that Alexandrite belongs to, but this does not look like Alexandrite because it's not. It's crystal barrel that has the cat's eye phenomena. That's platinum for the setting. It's a two carat 60 stone. That's very jumbo when it comes to this rare material, and it also has 50 points in diamonds. Check it out though. There's big rounds. There's some great baguettes in there. Looks almost like a little bow on the sides here. You've got the baguettes that are all channeled together. They're all tapered too, so they can align. And then you've got the big round brilliant on either side. And then yes, this really fabulous halo in platinum. Oh, what a piece. $29.99 should be. Let's blow it out because the top of the hour is here and we are getting ready to share something very special and exotic with you that you've seen a million times. And we're going to point out why you need to have one. We'll talk about that. Here's what we're going to do on this one. Not $19.99. Nope. Got to get a big, big crystal barrel out the door in this cat's eye. Just, it's easier to find stones that have a little bit of a misaligned cat's eye. Sometimes they're a little bit diagonal. And that's in Mother Nature and the cutting, right? They work together. When you've got perfection like this is, where it's right down the middle, straight up and down, it moves because that's what it does, right? It's going to move and give you that great movement of light. The chatoyancy moves as the stone does. And then you've got this huge value coming up where it's not even 1999 or 1500. We have one only as usual, and we're going to make this only, you know what? Skip 1499, skip 1399. We'll blow it out for $1,299 only on the cat's eye. Carissa barrel with all those great diamonds around it. And they're all good sized diamonds, really good round brilliance and baguettes put together there. Okay, Jess, who got that gold quartz? Big congratulations. Linda? Oh, that's all one name. That is a beautiful name. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much. So this $12.99, verifying. All right, let's see. Coming up, we've got a top of the hour for you. We'll show this one more time. Platinum. Boy, one of our few platinum pieces of the day. Hey, glad you're with us tonight. We have a pink diamond coming up in just a bit. I want to show you something you've seen before, probably. But something that I want to emphasize as hopefully you know hopefully you consider me your jeweler and i hope you consider me a friend and a fellow shopper and all those things this is a piece i'd like to encourage our folks to get because there's just there's so much happening in the jewelry world that's changing and evolving and different when it comes to gold and diamonds i i just as we celebrate this top of the hour on a big wednesday night and we're so glad you're with us and we're live, so if there's anything we can help you with, like I said, challenge me with your request. Let us know what you're looking for because sometimes the requests end up being the best sellers of the night, right? Agatha, can't thank you enough for calling in and asking for that paw necklace, which so many people got as a result. We're almost sold out, by the way, 
on the big, big pawn necklace. So if you need one still, check and see what's left. I know we have the rose and I know we have the yellow. You'll have to check with your operators on the white gold because we have one left last I checked. But those are the pieces we love to bring out. So do let us know what you'd like to see, what we can bring out for you. We have a diamonds by the yard that's affordable in the longer length. So all those ladies who always, always get a little upset with me that we only have usually 18 inches max, I'm going to bring you the 22 inch. So if that's what you love to wear or you know somebody who wants that 22 inch length, we've got it for you tonight. But this next piece is something I want you to think about. You may have seen it before. It's something that we don't get to talk about nearly as much because they're rare. But yet, I don't know if we all realize how rare they are. And I think a lot of that has to do with we work really, really hard to bring values. That's kind of how we make our name in the business is by bringing quality and value, right? There's a lot of jewelry out there that's cheap. There's a lot of jewelry that's expensive. And usually the quality coincides with those factors. We like to give you the best of quality, lowest price. This is a ring I wanna encourage you to think about, especially for those of us that don't have one. I know that when I've looked at pearl jewelry before, and there's a big world of pearls, a lot of pearls are really inexpensive because a lot of them, first of all, are lookalikes. They're simulated pearls. They're just like a faux plastic trinket. There are cultured pearls, which are usually white pearls, most pearls, cultured pearls, even Tahitians, most are cultured, which means they're natural pearls, and they just get a little bit of help from man. So it's still made in a mollusk, it's still an organic gem, it's still made by a living creature, but the irritant is injected with some help, as opposed to in the wild. This stone is a South Sea pearl, and it's the rarest color you can get. Hear me out. There are pink pearls, purple pearls, black pearls, silver pearls, and white pearls. This is the rarest color of pearl you can get. And then within that rarest color of golden, because only the gold lip oyster creates these, they take years and years and years longer to create, by the way, than other pearls do. Cultured pearls are fairly easy. Even Tahitian pearls, those are considered really exotic and rare. Those are the black pearls. Black pearls take still up to two years to create in the mollusk. Think about that. That's lengthy. This is a pearl that takes many more, double usually. So keep in mind, it's usually four years at least to create a golden pearl. And then within that golden pearl category, what you wanna have is a deeper, more saturated golden color. Think of it like we look at gold. When you have alloy, remember we just talked about the gold quartz, when you have 24 karat gold, it's really rich and yellow and buttery. And then as it's alloyed, it gets a little less yellow, right? This is where you're getting the color of a 24 karat gold pure, rich, saturated, just really, really lovely. And they're rare. What prompted this was I was looking through a very big designer catalog. And a lot of you, I think, got it as well at your homes all across the country in the last few days. And there's a golden pearl featured in that catalog. And there was no price listed. Well, I did the work for you. I called the number. I'm not shy. And I called the number because I was curious too know the designer well, know their work well, and actually called the number. And the ring that's not much different except that it has really 10 points in diamonds as opposed to our 43 points. And it's a 10 millimeter golden pearl. It's $69,000. So it just brought into really, I, I just brought into focus this fact that we can do something like this and we can bring it to you better. And we can get you that opportunity where if you've ever wanted one, ever admired them, ever wanted to try something different where June is coming up as well, because think about it, two weeks from today, it's May. Okay, May 1st is two weeks from right now. And this one I know does that. So I'm gonna finesse it a little bit because sometimes I can talk real nice to it and get it to sit properly. But this is a rare pearl. Maybe it won't. I might just have to hold it down. But it's gonna be 111-1151. Do you see, first of all, you need to look no further than the gold and the pearl. And look at how do they match? Not exactly, and that's a good thing. Because what happens is, the 14 karat gold that the ring is made out of is normally a really good color of gold and pearl, but do you see how rich this 11 millimeter gold and pearl is? That's the color of 24 karat gold, which makes it not just a rare South Sea pearl, but the rarest color of said South Sea pearls. And it does that, that's how big it is. It's an 11 millimeter diameter. It's got 43 points in diamonds. And this, I love the mounting 
because it's this wider band but still cut out detail. So it's comfortable. Even if you don't normally do wider rings, it's comfortable to wear. But you've got the cutouts and it alternates diamonds, gold, diamonds, gold, diamonds, gold over and over and over so that you get these many, many rows. It's eight rows of jewelry on the side and then cinches in to draw your attention into that gorgeous, perfectly round, flawless knacker. Look at that smooth, no little pits or divots. It's completely round. This is not a potato shape or Baroque pearl. It doesn't have ups and downs and shaped like an egg. It's all this beautiful, every detail, what you want in a pearl. And we have this value where you could go out and spend $69,000 right now and get a 10 millimeter pearl that's golden with 10 points in diamonds. Or you can get our 11 millimeter with more diamond weight and more gold. And it looks like this. I would consider just leaving it as is, but hey, if you want to give contrast, get it in the white gold. If you really want to go all out, you can get really different. You can go with the rose gold if you want to. This is a value. And I think we lose sight just glossing over it as we do sometimes or talking about a golden pearl. Sometimes we need to really dive in because an, edu an educated shopper is a good shopper. And sometimes it just takes getting to know the piece you're shopping for a little bit better. Or it brings to life the fact that I know that just that usually I'm usually able to balance it, but this is a bigger pearl. So it just tends to on the wheel go a little top heavy. But this is such an impressive, impressive stone. And it's the color for me because when we see golden pearls, usually they are significantly lighter and they're just a little wash of color, more of a champagne color. That is not ideal. They're still beautiful. They're still rare. Do not get me wrong, but it's not nearly as rare as when you're getting this color level and saturation. And that's what's important. And with that, we're going to give you a value like this where you don't pay $69,000. You don't pay $35,000 and you're not even paying $3,500. And that's what's so staggering is look at the amount of gold, tons of workmanship. And yet I think and this is rare for me to say because I've got my top five values here that I can list off at any given moment. But I think this needs to be added to our top values in the inventory all time. It's like our all star. I really do because instead of 35 or 25 or 15, it's a try it out price. Consider how rare they are. All natural. This is made in a mollusk called a golden lip oyster. They take years and years to create up to four years for one pearl of this size to grow up to four years. Tahitians are half that time or less. And this has all the bells and whistles. It has all that rich color and it's not going to be even $1,500. My goodness, if that were just, I, I forgive me, but if that were just a band with diamonds and gold and no pearl, I think it'd be a hot seller of $1,500 for just the golden diamonds. I think you'd love it. The fact there's a pearl added to the mix and it's a June birthstone, which is why I mentioned that we're two weeks away from May, which means in a few short weeks after that, it's June. So if you know a June birthday or you are a June birthday and you want to celebrate not with white pearls that are more basic, but a real exotic, it's the highest level you can get. It truly is. It's the highest level. I mean, besides conch pearls, which are really kind of a different animal, quite literally, it's, it's different, right? That's different. That's not, that's even, that's coming from not a mollusk. That's a different type of mollusk. So it's not even the same thing. But as far as the pearl world is concerned, this is the highest level. And we have nobody on the phone lines at $1,500. Forgive me that it does that because again, without my help kind of lifting it, it does that. And that's a testament to how big the pearl is. It's not going to be 15. It's not even a thousand dollars. I would love, and this is why I'm giving it this moment. I know you've seen it. I know you know it. Maybe you're brand new and you haven't seen it. And you're thinking, yeah, I've seen those in retail stores and they are incredibly expensive and they're beautiful, but I'm not sure if I want to dive in when it's $69,000. How many people can just go in and say, I'll shop it on a whim. I'll get it. Let me add that to my collection. Why not? It's not a why not price tag. It's not a why not availability. It's a dictated stone that just is so, so, so rare that that's what causes those higher prices. And they're truly incredible. And this goes to show you, I mean, I'm taking a piece that's been here forever. It's been here about as long as I have. And I really want to emphasize why I think you need to have it. And I really don't say that very often, but I think if you don't have one already, it's the moment to try it. Get it at home, see what it's about, get it as a gift, try it as one of those really, I mean, truly, you can have an incredible collection. This will be one of the rare stones you own because it is that level and they're very pricey. And we're not asking for $9.99 to get a gigantic ring where you're getting the gold and the diamonds with it as well. And that's significant. And it's not going to be $9.99 or $8.88. This is what I just think we excel in and we exceed in is this ability. I don't care how rare it is. We make it affordable.
And I'm going to try it on again because that's really that beautiful look you need to see where you start to appreciate that's not just about the pearl. It's about the gorgeous mounting and it's not even $850. Please try it because you will be really glad you have it. And it's done in this way where you're still getting that negative space. I love that it cinches in towards the middle. We may have it sold. I'm not going to be on this for long after this price comes down even further. I can't believe it. But white, yellow, or rose, you are going to choose. Don't size up on it because it tapers nicely. I'll show you in the back. Look at how it tapers. So it tapers really to that narrow point so you don't need to size up at all. And it's not even $800. It's $7.99. One caller. Good luck on that one. I just wanted you to try it and get a chance to enjoy something like this that's rare and special. Yes. Oh, good, Kim. You got it, Kim. Buy color tourmaline. You got it. Thank you so much for shopping that. I'll go grab it. Let me go ahead and put this back on the wheel, and then we'll see who's got our golden pearl, and if that's still here, I don't know what to tell you. But look for those. Look for that big catalog in your mailbox this week if you don't already have it, and uh, look for the $69,000 golden pearl, because I was a little bit... Uh, I was even, I'm in the business, I know prices on golden pearls, and I've seen them in stores for many, many years, but that surprised me, and I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to bring out one of our better buys, and that's it. So, Kim, I'm going to show your uh, buy color on the hand here for you. Here's the buy color ring. This is the one Kim picked up, so there it is on the hand for you with that pink and green split. So, just depending on the angle here, you tend to see, there are those colors coming through. Really nice 50-50 pink and, and green there. So the watermelon tourmaline, enjoy that, Kim. I know you will. Back to the golden pearl will go. I'll prop that up for you as well here so you can see what that's all about. And that's $9.49. Okay, not $9.49. That was the other one. This is $7.99. Okay, coming up, we're going to move on. We got a request here on the pearl. This is great. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. She has the whole set now, right? After this. So Diane, wasn't it just the other day? I think it was Monday night. She asked for the earrings and she already has the ring. I love this. Di Perfect. She got them already? Wow, cool. Oh my goodness. Wasn't that Monday we were shopping those or Sunday? I don't know. But either way, Diane, thank you so much. Well, I don't know if she knew because, oh, it's our last one. Oh, just realized that. We're not making this again? Oh, so we've got the rose pendant coming up. Because I remember we showed you the earrings the other day in the ring. They came out all together. She already got them and loves them and want to know if we have the matching pendant, and we do, but it's a last one. So, hey, Golden Pearl's here. Let's show you this. Oh, my goodness. Now, Diane, please call us quickly, because I would hate for you to miss out, because it looks like this is, uh-oh, it's our only one. What's going on with this price tag? We are used to great values on diamonds on a per carat basis, but wait a minute. This is very, very heavy. Heavy gold weight, heavy diamond weight, heavy workmanship. Call me quickly, 1112754. And I know a lot of you own the ring. A lot of you have the earrings. They're all a match. Now, the, the thing with the earrings and the ring is they were exactly the same size and scale. I will let you know the pendant is bigger. It's quite a bit bigger, actually, because we wanted, we know we have more room to work with on the neckline than we do on the hand and on the ears. So generally, when we do a set where it matches, generally the pendant is going to be a bit bigger, and this one is definitely that case. So it's 247. Now I'm going to show it again on the, you got to see this on the hand. Size is everything here with this one. Look at the size of that. It's a big deal. And this is, I mean, really, the pave bale, so important. Glad they did that because that would have really changed it. If this wasn't done to match, that would really change the look. This is 112, or actually 1112754. It's white gold. Now, if you absolutely need to have it in yellow or rose, because I know a lot of you are trying to match to the ring and the earring collection, I will offer to change the gold color if you'd like me to, because I want you to have the match. And since this is looking like the last time that we're going to see this, well, I'm going to discount it, but I want you to have it just the way you want it. It's an inch and a half from top to bottom, including the bale. It's all the intricacies of pave petals like we see in the collection entirely, but it's a bigger size and it's really amazing. And let me show it on the neckline so you can see it there because that's where it really is on display for all the beauty and just, I mean, it's, it's big, but if you love it, you love it. I don't think it's oversized to where you couldn't wear that every day if you don't want to. It's beautiful and it's all the sides. It's all the dimension. These are truly petals that bloom and have so much intricacy in all the way the pave wraps around each and every side, each and every curve, each and every angle. 
It's just amazing. It truly is. And this value, 247 in diamonds, has never been this affordable. Let's take a look at it up close and let's blow it out right now. Yes. I personally, Gladys, I love it in the yellow all around. I think that it's beautiful in the yellow gold, Gladys. That's what I would do. The white gold would be my second choice because that'll give you contrast with the pearl. I would not do the rose gold. That's my two cents on the golden pearl setting. I would say yellow first, white gold second, ignore rose gold. Yeah, I think it's going to be an odd combo. But the white and the yellow, amazing. This rose pendant was $69.99, and it hasn't been on the air much. So you may not have even realized that there was a trio set here. I mean, this is the three-piece set to the earring and the ring, and we're going to blow it out. And, yes, I'm going to change it to the rose or the yellow if you want it. We will, it'll take some extra time. But I want you to have the perfect match if you'd like it. And it's not 69. Do you already thinking about it? We've got several people thinking about it. Let me know who's got it. It's not even half of this price. What is going on? Look at the 247 and the intricacy in that. The fact that it's set all the way around. And yes, I showed you the back and the mirror finishing, but look at that from the side profile. So you see that those pave diamonds tuck all the way into the very center of the piece like that. It's amazing. The workmanship on this is one of our most complex designs. And I'm so proud to be blowing it out right now for less than even $24.99. We're basically at $1,000 a carat with a lot of free gold, and it's hefty. But it's not going to be that price either, and that's what I'm so excited about. A little bit amazed, actually. It's not $24.99. It's not going to be two. What is happening? It's not $2,000. <laughs> dollars i guess we want you to have the real true ability to get the whole set. And the ring is $9.99, and the earrings, what did I do the earrings for the other day? I can't remember. Were they $18.88? And now we're doing the pendant with two and a half carats of enormous diamond weight for only $1,999. If you need it right away, you got to get in the white. But if you want to wait, if you can wait, get it in the yellow or the rose, and we'll make it happen for you. But that price is astounding. Truly astounding. And you have the ring probably. The ring was a bestseller here. Hundreds of you own the ring. Many of you own the earrings that are those big Omega backs with the match. And now we've got the pendant with the largest time and weight of all. More than double. Remember, the ring has 101. The earrings had, why am I not remembering these carat weights on the earrings? I want to say it was 154 maybe in the earrings. Okay. Well, our next piece, that's here. Okay, so good news is it's here. Bad news is probably won't be here. It's just a matter of it's still early. $19.99, one only, let me know who's got it. The golden pearl, I think, is still here. Then we've got men's. We've got a men's imperial topaz for you. That's really special. Cat's eye Christopher from earlier, still here if you'd like it. Then we got to talk about this big mandarin, and we have a gorgeous aqua. Really stunning aqua tonight. One of our better aquas that's left in the house. We've got a big yellow diamond too. It's a carat 40. So one of those almost a carat and a half. Okay, this one's here. All right, I'm keeping that. I love the rose. I, I think floral jewelry can go one way or the other. I'm really particular about floral jewelry. I think it can look really kid-like and then it can re look really couture. And I'll take couture over kid. Because even when I was a kid, I liked more sophisticated jewelry, I must admit. This is couture level, no doubt. From the workmanship to the look to the design, everything about it, it's still here, 19.99. Okay, so there's a really, really, really important stone here. But you can't ever, oh my goodness, what is happening? You cannot leave me until you hear this price tag because you will not believe it. And I don't even believe what I'm about to tell you because in all my years, I have never had a blue star sapphire this size. It's 1123604. Oh boy. And you know what's impressive about getting a bigger size in a sapphire like this is that if it's proper, it's still going to have the star, the legs of the star stretching all the way across the stone and this does. And of course, there's two stars right now. You'll see there's just going to be one centered star typically. But look at this size. What do you guess? What do you think it might be? First of all, I'll let you know it's in platinum. So gold wasn't good enough for this stone. It had to be platinum. And the platinum is how I would leave it anyways. I would never want this in anything else but a white metal. And you know why? Because the star itself has a silvery white presence to it. 
So you want to keep it that way. So white gold would normally be the choice, but we wanted to upgrade it from there and give you platinum, which is a step up. This has a major, major stone. I just don't think I've seen one this size. Yeah. Well, I think it kind of just depends, Gladys. I, I think that here's my take on it, Gladys. I don't think it's about where it looks best. I think it's about a practical thing. She's asking this question, Tony. Does the pearl ring look better on the ring finger or the index finger? That was the question, right? Here's the only thing I think. Now, I have a larger hand, as you know. I wear a size five and a half, but I have a long hand. I like to wear big rings on my ring finger, so I have no problem with it. So I, I like a wider ring there. However, here's what the problem is. If you do uh, wear it here, which that's how it looks, so there's, you can kind of judge for yourself. And for reference, I'm a size, I'm about a six and three quarter on my index, six and three quarter, seven. Yeah, this is, yeah, about a seven. So that's what I wear here, just for reference point, if that helps you decide. Five and a half here, right in between here, like six and a half there, and then of course seven here-ish. Um, I gotta say, the only thing I, I think about here is that obviously it's a pearl, and it's a bigger pearl, so it sits up. So I particularly, just for me, when I do wear index finger rings, I like it to be more low profile in the hand and like it to sit a little lower. So this one, because it's a pearl with a big round shape to it, it's gonna sit up a little higher. So for that reason, I feel more comfortable wearing it here. That's my, my two cents about it. I think it looks great either way. I just think that sitting up a little bit higher for what I like to wear just because, you know, when you're active, I like to wear something a little more flush to the hand when it's on the index or the pinky. So that's just how I think about it. But Gladys, either way, I think it looks really, really good. And one more reference point here, I'll just show you on the ring finger one more time. There it is. So that's how it looks there. So you can decide, but again, keep in mind, it sits up a little bit off the hand. So if that's something you want to consider. But that's $7.99. Let me know if you like it. And then here we go back to our star, which we haven't even revealed the size yet, but it is, I think, the largest I've ever had, especially in the blue. Because think about it, it's still a blue sapphire. It's got the asterism, which makes it the phenomenal extra rarity. And it's a 9 carat 41. So that's a really big size. Because do we have a 9 carat sapphire in the inventory other than this? The answer is, ha, no, we do not. We do not. It's a carat 05 in diamonds as well, which have the rounds and the baguettes together. And watch this, because this is what it's going to look like at home. When you open the box, expect it to look like that. One prominent and dominating star right there. Now, obviously it's down to one side because that light is off to the side. If I block that light that I just, there you go, I'm trying to reach around and block only one light. This is a little weird contortionist that I got to do here, but there it is. Now you see the light is on the other side, so the star is more centered on the other side. All right, so now that we've demonstrated and now that I've done my stretching for the day, here we are looking at a major value on what I promise you is gonna be one of the most valuable star stones we ever bring, ever could bring, ever will bring, and yet it's gonna be very affordable, not 16,999, should be, could be. You don't see many nine and a half carat blue sapphires. I wish we had a faceted stone to price comparison it too, but we don't. We do not have a nine and a half carat sapphire of any kind, except for this one. And this happens to have an asterism. Here's what it looks like on the hand, and it's in platinum, let's not forget that. And of course, the white metal matches the color of the star. If I block this overhead light, yeah, it's still got the two front facing lights on it. So you're still gonna see the double star effect. But again, one in person, expect to see one star. In person, it's not even $69.99. We have one total museum collector stone here and there's obviously, yeah, just a one lucky caller is gonna get it, yes. Oh. oh, okay, that sounds good. Thank you so much. Thanks, Marcy. Uh, you know what I'm going to do on this one, guys? Instead of 69, 59, 49, even 39, 99, I'm blowing it out. What normally gets in the way of big stones like this that are museum level is the price tag. That is just not how we roll. I'm making this $2,999. That's it. Just $29.99. Wow. That's impressive. So this is one of our best values of the day. And I kind of sprung it on you because had I said at the beginning of the show there was a nine and a half carat star sapphire, we wouldn't have been able to show anything up to that point. Everybody would just be waiting to see that one superstar museum level stone.
Okay, what are we shopping for back there? Oh good, and don't forget we have a Diamonds by the Yard in our 22 inch length. Show what? Does Diamonds by the Yard? How about now? Soon enough? All right. I don't know when the message came in. Okay, who was it? Hi, Chris, on YouTube, right? I love it. Uh, Chris, welcome. First of all, I don't know when you um, gave that message, and I don't see all those online things, guys, so don't think I'm ignoring you because I don't see all that. Um, you know, I can't see all that while I'm hosting a show, but luckily I have people to help me, and Jess just told me that you're looking for a Diamonds by the Yard soon. We're going to do it now. It's a great uh, special here for the bottom of the hour, and keep in mind, this is a link that I know so many of you ask us for and we usually don't have in any necklace, in any chain, in any variety. Usually we pretty much top out at an 18 inch length when it comes to a necklace. What I'm gonna show you now is really here by popular demand. This is the DBTY, which stands for Diamonds by the Yard. That is not something that we invented. That is, I maybe just, I use the acronym a lot because we have a lot of different versions, so I give it the acronym, but it's something that is a style that's virtually in every jewelry establishment out there. It's the idea that there are different varieties, there are different qualities, there are different types, but the idea is that you've got a station style of diamonds. The idea like diamonds by the yard as if you were having a consistent incremental diamond placement throughout a chain so that you essentially imagine those rolls of chain. Do you know that chains are sold that way in the wholesale world? Like you go in and you go to a wholesaler and they've got like literally barrels they look like barrels or like wine vats that are actually rolling like this and they've got chain all throughout and then you just take an extension now this is a little different because these are all obviously custom made hand set diamonds are between every single bit of chain you have now we've done several varieties to really suit everybody's needs but what we have very rarely seen is a longer length like this which is our 22 inch and that is a length that still a lot of people look for and that's because maybe that's just comfortable for you, or maybe you already have the 18 and you love to wear it, but you wanna layer with it. That's what this provides. And by the way, we do have one Tanzanite tonight, one, and it's coming up shortly, probably in the next 30 minutes or so, so don't go anywhere. But I've got a white and a yellow gold to show you. This is amazing. Our, um, for some reason, the Blue Star Sapphire 9 Carat 41 is still here, so just a heads up, but this is the DVTY that is not gonna go all the way around. We do every one a little bit differently. If you want the all the way around, you wanna go with our 202. This is the one that's gonna have a simple 31 points in diamonds, but they're still big individual diamonds. You get five diamonds. That means they're just over six points a piece and they're all bezel set. It's great to layer. It's got a spring ring closure and giftable. Yes, 100%. Because this is the style that you know is gonna work. Even if she likes a longer length, which we rarely see, you know also it's that little touch of glamour. Let's be honest, sometimes the 202 is a little much for some people. The 202 sometimes is too much diamond weight for every day. It just kind of depends. Everyone's got their own style. This is where with the simplicity of the five stones, they're meant to go right around the front of the neckline. So basically from here to here, when you wear it on, it's gonna show diamonds. The back, most people don't see the back of our necklace anyways, right? We're either wearing our hair down or we've got a collar back there. It's not visible to the rest of the world. So what's really crit critical is that you've got the diamonds right up front to go right in front. They're spaced a little bit further apart than some we do. They've got the bigger individual diamonds, which we love. And it's going to be white, yellow, or rose gold, but limited once again. So very, very important. You dial in early here. I've got the yellow gold and the white gold to show you. Take a look at this. Here we go. This is what we've got. And it's going on the hand here first because it's the best way to show it to you. And as we do, I'm going to try to drape this. With Thank you so much. Oh, good. Oh, this is going to match. Marcy. Great. We've got one for you, Marcy. And by the way, this, oh, you know what, Tony? Let me try to show the whole thing here because it's obviously one of our longer ones. But do you see the spring ring closure? And I want to point out, there's one, that's one of the end diamonds, and here's the other. So I'm going to show it to you on the neckline so you can see it. But this is going to be your five stones spaced about an inch and a half apart. Spring ring closure, you still have adjustability. So that's great too. So if you think, wait, it's only 22 inches? No, it's 22 maximum. Then you get 21, then you get 20. So anywhere between the 20 and 22, you're good to go. And it's gonna be those big individual diamonds. So right up front where you want them. And Mother's Day is right around the corner. 
Think about that. Birthdays, I mean, honestly, this is what's so versatile about a Diamonds by the Yard is that everybody, every age, every style can wear them. That's what we love about it. Here's the, um, let me get you a look at the white gold here, and I'm going to show you up close how it's made and how it's built because these are always just perfect. They have the diamond cut chain in between. I'm going to move that sapphire side. Take a look at these diamonds individually. The front and back, always going to be open bezels, but you'll see so that if it turns, and it will, right? You wear it, you're moving, you're walking, you're talking, you're breathing. You're, you're in motion. So this will move, but there's always going to be diamond brilliance visible from every direction. And how about that chain? Sparkle City all the way around, and there's your closure, and there you can see those O-rings is what gives you that ability to give you a little adjustability. See, there's one O-ring, and they're subtle. They really blend in nicely, so it doesn't look like an adjustable piece, but it still is, and we're going to blow it out right now. And then, if you want to layer it, it's easy to do, and then look at how they do look. Oh, I love these layered together. And that, again, is easy to do because you have all that adjustability built in. I know you want to see one on the neckline, but here's the deal. We have got to, and we know with a longer length, this should be more money, not less, right? Bigger diamonds, more length. The gold is expensive. If normally one of our necklaces goes up to 18 inches, that should be, I think we do, let's see, the 18 inch for what, $9.99, and it's a value, it's a deal. This is the one giftable, think about multiple gold colors, think about getting multiple necklaces, even the same gold color, but in multiple, so you can layer them really easily. This is huge. We're going to do a big value. It's not even $9.99. I guess we need that number. Triple one zero four five seven. Sometimes I get so overly excited about the deal that the, the critical port part, like the item number and all that information goes to the wayside. This is the adjustable piece we've been waiting for. This is the longer length you've been asking for, whether it's just that layerable piece because you got the 18 and you love it and you want to create that almost like Gatsby effect, right? There's something very very kind of roaring 20s about layering styles like this with that station style in diamonds, that little subtle glitter of the VS diamonds, but not over the top. This is not a diamond collar. Even me, I, I like to dress up, but honestly, diamond collar, I have one. I don't wear it every day. Those, I know a lot of ladies who do, they wear theirs every single day. They live in them. They're wearing them when they're on a beach on vacation, they're wearing their diamond collars. They're wearing it every day nonstop. Um, I think that's, that's really dressy for every day still. Some people rock it, go for it, but if you just want something a little more that effect, but more subtle, but still with the quality, 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 this is so it. And as we take a look, I'm going to show them on the neckline as well, and it's going to be better than even $9.99, yet you're getting all this extra length than we normally see. And I'm going to, obviously, it's not going to sit up here at this length, but I want you to see the diamonds against the skin, because I think that's what we're looking to see at this point. I want you to see how it looks size-wise, how it lays, so you can see how those diamonds are going to look. I, I would make a point to just kind of pay attention to, you know, what is the front of the bezel first before you put it on and try to, you know, actually set it that way. And then it can kind of move and, you know, flutter as you wear it, but it's going to look great. And that's, again, it's obviously going to be lower than this. I'm holding it at about a 15, 16 inch length, but you know it's going to sit, you know, further down here at 22 max. But the idea is to see what those diamonds look against a bare skin tone, how big they are, how far apart they're set. Again, about an inch and a half. They're not even 888, 777, 699. Let's go back to the hand here. And they're not going to be, well, how about this? It's not even $777 or $699. And this is that longer length we hardly ever see. There's that look draped, which, hello, the chain alone. What do you spend right now for a 22-inch chain? By itself, no diamonds. Tough to do for a price like this. We're not asking for $6.99, $5.99. This is unheard of. And your 21, 20-inch, 20 22-inch, it is basically adjustable hour by hour, day by day. Change the neckline, change the length. Easy, it's all built in. Three of the longer lengths you see in necklaces, all built in right here. Okay. It's not even $599. Busy on the phone lines already? Watch this. It's $499 instead. That makes it every bit better. And great giftable as well, because under $500, for fine jewelry, but wait, it's not a little tiny something. It's a necklace. It's 22 inches in solid gold, diamond cut chain, big diamonds individually, set apart five stones. Remember, five stones, 31 points. So it means they're a little over six points a piece. And yes, if you already have the 90, uh, rather the, um, what is it? We have the one carat, we have the 202, we have the uh, 40 pointer, we have a 
10 pointer. We have a lot of different versions, but most of them are 18 inches and shorter. This is the only one that's going to give you that length up to 22 inches. And are we ever busy on the phone lines? Okay, bear with us. We're waiting on hold here. Which color do you have there, Jason? How many and how? Okay, we got two in yellow gold. You can get more than one as well. Think about, there's a yellow gold. Think about stacking and layering. Think about building your collection. If you already, so for those of you who are saying, ah, oh, I have the 18 inch, I'm good. Well, then this is going to sit just a little bit lower. Think about if you're using the 20, the 21, or the 22. That way, every neckline, every comfort level, if you just like a little longer length, that's what allows you to do it right there. So stunning, amazing value, under $500. We have had other diamonds by the yard with lesser diamond weight in a shorter length that have been more money. True story, we have. So for, I seriously, I keep double checking, triple checking, is this really happening? <laughs> it really is. We're really doing the 22 inch length. Obviously, there's been one other longer length, actually, that was very, 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 very few and far between the longer opera length we do, the 36 inch. But this is one that is not the longer length in the sense that it goes, you know, down towards the waistline. This is that just longer length than your typical 16, 17, 18, but still meant to sit above the bus line. You know, that's kind of the difference. A lot of people don't do the longer length when it's 36 because then it's... It's yeah, it's a little complicated to wear and um, this is still going to sit up on the neckline where a necklace is really, you know, thought to supposed to be right on the neckline itself on the decollete, as we all love to say in the business, the decollete, <laughs> right? It's just a nice way to say the, the, the neckline, right? And that's really where this is still going to be. It just gives you that longer length that we don't usually offer. So huge value there. Thank you so, so much. Glad you're picking it up. Mother's Day around the corner. Think about that. I mean, it's just, it's again, when you go around to the time and if you're waiting till, you know, May 11th to concern yourself with Mother's Day, well, okay, great. That's what, you know, a lot of us will do and that's okay too. But then at the last minute, what are you looking for? You're looking for the bottle of wine, the flowers, the, the, the food delivery, something, something beautiful and lovely that she'll appreciate, no doubt. But it could easily be $4.99 or more to do something that maybe only lasts a day or two when you've got something here that is forever and truly something that I think she's going to feel really special and spoiled, whether it's mom's day, whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, whether it's just a, you know, a younger gal, fine piece of jewelry, like a first piece of fine jewelry as she's going off to start her life as you know, maybe she's going to go out and she's getting that first job or she's graduating college. And this is where, again, she wants to have something that where she looks and feels the part. This is the piece that is so sophisticated and really, really stunning. So $4.99, if you'd like one, let me know. White, yellow, rose. That's special. And I know we don't have the rose gold, so my apologies for that, but you prep. Thank you. Another yellow gold going out of there. Think about getting more than one. Two for under a thousand, three for under fifteen. It's a value. Stock up when you should. Uh, you know what to do, guys, because that length, I, I honestly, I don't even know when the last time I had this on the air. I do not remember it. I do not remember having the 22 inch presented on the air. We see plenty of all the others. We see them quite often, but this is a length we just don't see. And it's the only one we have like it. There's no other diamonds by the yard option in the 22 inch length. I think we're getting ready for some tan tonight, right? And a pink diamond is here. We're going to show that next. Wait, do you see the color though? Because if you're like me and you don't like most pink diamonds, I know it's not terrible. I said I don't like something a lot of times with pink diamonds. I don't. I'm really, really, really crit critical of pink diamonds because I love pink. So let's go back to the wheel. You can still keep calling on DBT wise and Hello, hello, hello. Hello, gorgeous. Here it is. <laughs> Look at that. A saturated, beyond saturated pink diamond is what you have here. When I know you might have to kind of reference what you've seen before to remember what makes this one special because I know I don't have a million of them here to show you. If I did, I'd show them side by side. You know me. I'd like to show them side by side when given the chance. But this is where I'm going to ask you to recollect what you've seen in pink diamonds, where they're barely there, like a barely there pink. This is very saturated. Item number is 1123909. It's brand new right now. And it's our, it's a good size. It's 17 points. It's a nice size. Don't forget about that blue star sapphire still here. Mm-hmm. 
Here's our 17 point pear shape. Then it has the two halos of additional pinks. Maybe you don't need to look at others. Maybe you look at the halos. Great pink diamonds there in your two halos first, but not even close to the saturation of the big stone, the important stone right there in the middle, which is our 17 pointer, 11 points in the additional pink diamond double halo and 84 points around that. Those are the VS white diamonds we know and love. Okay. Well, 95 points in all the side diamonds there. Plus you have the total with the 17 point center, which allow me to come in even closer to take an even better look at it because that has instead of shading towards the purple range or the lavenders that's not what this is doing this is a hotter brighter more saturated still pure pink that's the difference maker here it doesn't go lavender it's going and staying in that pink lane but getting really saturated that's the beauty of it. Wait a minute. I just realized I had a request here for the golden pearl pendant. So can we hold that thought for just a moment in case Marcy's waiting? I have an enhancer golden pearl. We're just going to flash this really quickly because it's a one only. Just let me just stop the pink diamond for a minute and show you 1119639 because I know sometimes she's on the go. This is our 14 karat. Wait, guys, this does not look like 14 karat gold. I'm going to check and see if we can find the stamp. Do you see the richness there? That looks like an 18K, doesn't it? But let's, we'll find the stamp together. But it's a 12 and a half millimeter pearl, so just a touch larger than the one we had in the ring, but it's also a more sizable piece overall. And 33 points in the diamond weight, which are the baguettes and the rounds. And look at this, this is an enhancer. So you actually have the ability, because why might you need that? Well, if you are lucky enough to have perhaps a golden pearl strand, this one, we have one, by the way, if you need one. We, we do have one. It's a little pricey, but we have one. They're all pricey. But that ability, you see that little kind of looks like a figure eight on a bracelet, right? That flips up. You can put the bail over a chain or a, maybe it's a larger chain. Maybe it's a big, big, big bead necklace. Maybe it's, it doesn't need to be a golden pearl strand. It could be beads. It could be whatever you want it to be. But that ability where you can put a larger chain or open that bail up and add it to what you like. Golden Pearl's gorgeous. It, it will match the ring beautifully. And uh, 33 points in diamonds. I sure hope they have them all covered there because it looks like it might be more. But either way, you've got the baguettes that are channel set. You've got some prongs set round brilliance. You even have a little pavé on the uh, bottom portion of the pendant. Almost looks like a leafy floral here or maybe an acorn design. We'll show it on the hand for some size perspective. Get your measurement and then blow out the one of a kind because it's going to be, oh, I'm loving this discount must go with the discount we did on the ring. Makes sense, right? There's the one and a half inch link top to bottom. I'll show it on the neckline. Most of the time, you're just gonna put your favorite chain right through it. You could take that diamonds by the yard we just had and put it right through there. By the way, those DBTYs do hold pendants. They actually are strong enough to be your favorite new pendant chain. I wanna show this from a distance, Tony, and show everybody what it looks like from a distance away. It is also no longer $39.99, and that's an even bigger pearl. And you know how bigger pearls, they may only go up one or two millimeters, but that makes a big difference in the price tag when they do, because it's a lot like diamonds. Diamonds go up exponentially as you get bigger sizes because they're that much tougher to get. Same with the pearl world, and it's not $39, $29, not even $19.99. It's a one only, of course. And this one's going to be going a lot less than even $19.90. What is going on with these price tags? They're amazing tonight. Isn't that great? A what's new Wednesday with all the surprises and all the fun exotics and yet teeny tiny little prices. And this one's only $1,699. Then we will get back to that super saturated pink coming up next. But that is the pearl piece. And yes, it'll go beautifully with the ring. That's for sure. So I know if anybody picked up that ring, beautiful together. Okay, we're going to talk about that pink diamond, very saturated pink diamond. Also tanzanite coming up in about 13 minutes. We have our five carat today. It's a five carat 10 tonight that we're going to see. I love that 510. We've got a 510 for you. And then this one, major size. Let's look at the inside. I am looking to see. Let me see if I'm covering the hallmark with my tweezer, perhaps. Does anyone see? Yeah, does it say 14? All right, it says 14. All right, I'm going to go with it. It's got a richness though, doesn't it? It really does have that buttery richness we usually see with 18K. But you know, certain designers have different uh, ways they alloy. So sometimes they can kind of play with the color of the gold a little bit. All right, 16.99, let's go back to our pink diamond. Here we go. Sorry to interrupt that, but I just had to 
get that request in real quick. Here is back returning to our 17 point center stone with that saturated bright pink popping as it is looks great and 11 points in pink around that 84 grand total 95 points in the sides 112 total. Here's what we've got super, super saturated. This is really the world of pink diamonds that you rarely see when you achieve that level of saturation. So excited to have it really cool stone. What if we just blow it out right now from 69.99, give you a great value. And then we are getting close to our top of the hour and our one and only Tanzanite of the night. Wow. You know, that should be $7,000. What is the number one property to consider when you are shopping for a colored gemstone, a colored diamond? It is the color. More important, and I know what you're thinking, diamonds, we think about size first typically. That is true with the white diamonds of the world. But when you are talking about an exotic natural color of diamond that is rare like the pinks are, remember there's a hierarchy to the different colors. I would say, and I won't get too involved here, but certainly it would start with the browns, the brown shades of diamonds, the most affordable of the colors, because every color of diamond is still hundreds of times more rare than a white diamond, if it's natural, from the earth. But just start with the brown diamonds, and then it goes up from there. And then you're talking about usually the yellows, and then you're talking about some of the other colors that we hardly ever see. And you get into some of the cognacs where it's a brown and a red mix, or a brown and a yellow mix. Well, the pinks are, up there with the blue diamonds and the green diamonds and the natural red diamonds. But that's really why this particular stone is so important. It's not just the fact it's a pink diamond. We've had those, we've seen those, but usually they have a very light pastel color. That is the nature of the pink diamond world. That's just, that's how they are derived. And don't you always laugh when you see the stones out there that are like these bright, bright hot pinks. It's kind of your giveaway usually when it's like a bright neon hot pink that it's probably an enhanced either a simulant or a synthetic. Probably not the real deal out of the earth. It didn't come out that color, right? This is different. This one did, and yet you're getting some of that really superstar saturation, and it's not even going to be $69.99. Color is everything, and this is still a big size. In the pink diamond world, that is a tremendous size. Here's what it looks like overall in the hand. Just to show you from that perspective, from a little further away, and we're not asking for 69, 59, 49, 39, 29 even, yes. Thank you, gold pearl enhancer pendant is sold. Now we're getting the pink diamond. I'll flip it around just to show you the other direction. If that's the way you'd prefer to wear it, you certainly may, but it's not gonna be even 29 or 1999. We've only got the one. Let's make it happen really simply and easily here and send it on out. I cannot say enough about it when you get a carat 12 total, but it's all really boiled down to what that center stone is and what that color is all about. And we're gonna make this one 1,000. $499. Taking a look at it close up. Amazing value because it's the most saturated we've seen while still being that true pink color. It is that. That's what you want. That could be in an auction house right now for $150,000. I mean, it really could. These pink diamonds, they don't even understand in the gem world. All the community of gemologists that are out there worldwide that study these stones. They study the world of natural diamonds. They study the world of fancy diamonds. They study them. They don't know. We know what makes yellow diamonds yellow. We don't know. We don't understand fully what makes pink diamonds pink. How they happen in that rare exotic color, nobody's 100% sure. There's a theory that there's actually a birefringence that happens when they're created in the earth, that when that splits, it creates that color to the eye. It's a, it's a really, it's an interesting, if you have a moment and um, you want to go to GIA and just type in pink diamond color and um, de de like uh, the derived color. I mean, it's amazing to read about it. It's, we'll get into it another time because I know we are limited on time. We got about eight minutes, but it really is fascinating, but there's still no, that's a theory. It's a hypothesis. It's still not a hundred percent vetted that that is what makes the stones that color, but it really is. It's very rare and unique. And we got these stones, we've had them from a collection here that is getting down to last, last call, dwindling in quantity from that Argyle mine, which of course is so famed, that has since been closed for several years. So very excited to have this for you at $14.99. Big Aqua, Big Mandarin, Big Yellow Diamond, they're all here too. And then we do have a Tahitian Pearl piece that's very designer. I'll flash that for you next. Tahitian Pearl lovers, 
there's a good one coming up in a pendant and it's platinum and it's heavy. Okay, let's move on and then we'll see who's got it. I don't know if it's gone yet, but I know it's verifying because we got a couple people on the phone lines verifying. That's an incredible stone. I think about the one carat. I think about the 109. We had a 102 and a 109 here. You know, you think about these stones that are bigger. They can't achieve this color without being truly millions and millions of dollars. I think about the 20 pointers, the 40, the 40 pointers that are $25,000 here for a 40 pointer. And they don't have this color. Sometimes it's true that to get the more saturated, vibrant colors, Typically, you do have to go with a little bit, um, you know, not always going to be the 50 and 60 point stones. Did you think about this one, Jason? Getting what? What were you taking? N nothing? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to move on. That one's still here if you'd like it. Let's go ahead and move on to Artesian Pearl. Jason would not tell me if the world was ending. Like if the world was ending and I was the last person on planet Earth, he would not tell me. <laughs> <laughs> if it was that kind of level of breaking news. Promise me, though, you will one day, Jason. Promise me. At least that. At least that. Okay, good. All right. It's a pact. It's a deal. All right. At least he'll share that. Um, let me make my best effort. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This is 1123524. Take a look at this. I, I know we're going to see it up close, but I wanted you to see there's such a modern. Yes. Oh, with the pink one? Sure. Let's show the back real quick, Tony, real quick. With pink diamond in the back. Here it is. This is the back. So you see how we actually house it here with a, we, we actually, you see there's a triple rose gold setting there for the center stone and then the side halos. And then you see there's rose gold underneath and there's the white gold that's going to basically give that, that support system a kind of elevation off the hand. And you see how always we do those dense, thick, heavy, nice, thick gold bands in the back. So you get the depth of the gold. You're never wearing through this ring. That's for sure. And it's $14.99. Still here if you'd like it. So what I want to do is show you the close-up on this pearl piece. And it's 1123524. It's a Tahitian. We've spent a lot of um, a deal of time talking today about the golden pearls. And now we're going to go to the natural. In this case, it's more of like a silvery blue, kind of a platinum -y, for lack of a better term. And it's set in platinum, by the way. Platinum. The pearl is 12 and a half millimeters in a Tahitian. This also is 33 points in diamonds among just four. And of course, the one big bezel set stone is very large. Very well done. That's a large stone and a VS diamond. And then the other three are burnished into the platinum. Love that too. So you've got burnished, you've got bezel, you've got all those different details. And it's a 12 and a half millimeter, all completely round pearl set in. Did you know they can do that? Brush finishing in the platinum, sure enough. We see it sometimes with gold here and there. You've got the mirror finish offset with that satin finishing. Looks great, nice little alternative there. Gives it a little wow factor. And this one, blow it out. We got a five, well, we're actually four minutes now till the top of the hour in our Tanzanite deal. So let's make this happen and make it easy. And yes, the chain's coming with it. Yes, you get this bead chain, let me show you. It's actually going to be a large, kind of a bead-like chain. It looks like it's going to be 16 inches in length, but you can remove it and use other chains as well. We thought with all the round diamonds, burnished and bezel, we thought we'd do the bead-like chain that you have. And then that chain is going to have a adjustability and a spring ring closure. And then we'll show you the length and show it on the neckline. And then we'll blow it out from $39.99. That's not going to make it go. We got to make sure the values come way down. And that is about an inch and a quarter or so, inch and an eighth maybe, right there top to bottom. And then let's take a look at it on the neckline for you just for another perspective, how that's going to look from a distance away. And we will make this one $39.99. They're not going to love tonight, Tony. So I'm going to make it a little bit better for you. But you can see, and it's heavy. You know there's a heft to platinum. Platinum has got a density, so you feel platinum. You always feel the weight of platinum, that's for sure. What we're going to do on this one is make it better than 39, 29, or 19. It's really affordable. It's really affordable. And I'll keep on going. Big bail. So if you want to put a larger diamonds by the yard with it, you can. It's not 19, even $1,500. Okay, this must be like, we're turning this into the pearl day. It's the day of the pearl giveaways. And notice we haven't shown you any of the basic white pearls. It's been all about the exotic colors 
of pearls here tonight. And we're going from the golden that we had earlier and now the Tahitian and it's not 15, 14. No, it is not. We'll make it $1,399. $13.99 and it's just one and it's all staying in platinum coming with the free chain all that gorgeous look bigger diamonds I love that you're getting 33 points but it's only among four stones so you've got really sizable stones that obviously on average we're talking about an average of eight points you know that it's actually going to be that the burnished stones are a little smaller that bezel set individual stone is a little bit larger probably got a good about 15 pointer there on the larger stone and then the other stones probably hanging out right in that neighborhood of about uh, five four or five points all right let's keep moving got a lot to show you but only now two minutes left until this hour concludes and last hour is here so the question is uh, do we have any other requests to get to before we wrap up this hour? Because there are still a few pieces left from the show. Pink Diamond, let me know if that one's gone or not. Then we've got the Big Tanzanite coming up in one minute and 30 seconds. So that's on the way. It's our only one of the night. That seems limited until you realize that soon it's going to be no Tanzanites. None. And then we're really going to be sad. So we've got a really good one tonight for you. We'll show that coming up at the top of the hour. This one's here. Platinum, Tahitian, and $13.99 price tag. And here's your finishing. So you can see it's almost like an orb or a half orb of gold, or platinum rather, in the back that you have holding that pearl securely. So it's going to be well seated into that platinum metal. Large bale. So if you don't love this chain, you can switch it out. And if you're thinking, I don't have a platinum chain, don't worry. It'll still look great with your white gold chains as well, even your sterling. I won't tell anybody. No one's going to be able to visually tell. So you'd have to be real close up and really probably looking against, uh, you know, other options and models to, to see the difference. Okay, so $13.99. Let me know if that one's gone. And then here we go. Big aqua coming up. Got a fancy yellow, really nice yellow diamond here. And then there's even a men's ring with imperial topaz. If you want to see that, let me know. And we have a pot parasha that's certified. So lots to get to, but very little time. And so we got to keep on going. We've got 30 seconds left till the hour officially wraps up. Do want to remind you there is a Tanzanite next, and then we also have a big aqua, and then there's a Tanzanite special. So when I told you there's one, there's one in a ring. I've got a little surprise for you after our Tanzanite ring. So you got to stay with me because in about five seconds, we're showing you the Tanzanite ring reveal. Then we've got a surprise for our Tanzanite lovers, one and all. So that's coming up too. But this one's got to go. That one's still here. Let's get to it. We will show you the one and only ring tonight. And is it, oh gosh, is it my mind or do these just get better and better and better and better? Wait, they do. I can actually verify and validate that because you know why? <laughs> A lot of the stones that were originally saved to be saved for museums, private collections, our own selfish needs here. I mean, right, we're collectors too. We love our gems and jewelry as well. They've been coming out now to give you more options in Tanzanite before they're completely gone. Welcome to the show. It's our last hour this Wednesday night. We are live from Los Angeles. I'm Lauren Blair. We've got one hour left. Please continue to get requests in if you have them. We'd love to help you out with those, but this is the only ring. Now keep in mind, right after this ring concludes, we're gonna have a surprise. It's a surprise for you. And we've got something so cool that we have not seen hardly ever. And it's our very last of its kind. And it's Tanzanite too. So we'll surprise you with that right after this ring is gone. But this is our last call. Blue wing block D cushion cut and not the square cushion, but this time around the traditional cushion cut, the one we think of when we hear the name cushion cut, the one we want to give us the elongation. Look at this great looking stone. How about that? It is a beauty and it's also going to be a big size, but the size that so many of you want and ask and request all the time. Item number on this one is 1123836. Don't forget about that platinum and Tahitian piece still here at the moment don't think that's long for this world and then here we go it is the five carat tin it is the museum reserve you could tell tony couldn't you you can tell you can just see it you know it the second you see it because that's what we're doing there weren't any left a few months ago we panicked we had not had a chance to tell you warn you or give you any heads up that we were nearing the end of our collection and we broke into the museum vault. The stones that were literally set aside to go to museums on display have been now what we've been showcasing for the last, not entirely, but we've had several on display for you for the last few months. 
and this is one of them. A five carat 10 cushion cut that we rarely see. It has a full carat of one in diamonds around it. Take a look at the sides here. You've got two bigger stones. Uh, first of all, the diamonds are flashing. They are, they do, they are. We are always foiling with our VS diamonds. And I know we don't talk about it much when tanzanite is the centerpiece because that's really where our attention goes. The red flashes coming through the sides of the stone, amazing. The split shank that's subtle, but then you've got a couple of bigger diamonds set within. Let me show you the other side, same thing over here. And then the very large halo completing this look. And did you notice something about this halo? It's a little bit of, for lack of a better term, like a spiked halo. Do you see that? All of the cornerstones, every alternating diamond in the halo, there are two sizes used. So it goes smaller, larger, smaller, larger, smaller, larger. The larger happen to be also really lined up at the main points, like the corners and that midpoint of each side, so that you really do see that bigger diamond embellish the way this halo looks. It looks more important as a result. It doesn't look basic. It doesn't look like your simple, everyday, commonplace halo because it's given those bigger diamonds with it. So it really brings it up a level. And visually, that makes the difference. Because halos are, as classic as they are and as beloved as they are, they still can look a little bit more straightforward and basic when they're done in the basic way. Just one same size in diamonds going all the way around. This really elevates it. And it's giving you bigger diamond weight, which is what's contributing to that carat of one in diamonds while still giving you diamonds from one side to the other when this is on your hand. Because all the sides are done in diamonds here as well. So it is impressive. And it's going to be $79.99. No, not going to be $79.99 after all. I got to change it. I got to change it. I know. We're in the last, last few days of Blue Wing, and yet the prices need to go up. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to bring the prices up. Let's get our last few out the door doing what we have done so well. What has really created, I know, it's created buzz in the industry. That's for sure. It's been what really for a lot of new shoppers puts TV on on your radar is our Blue Wing Block D. I think there's a lot of people that start shopping because they had a word of mouth recommendation. Oh, you like my incredible tanzanite? This is the only place to get them. And that's what brings a lot of people into our world. And this is not going to be $79.99. You know what? I just realized I haven't had an auction all night long. This would be the perfect moment to do it because I am set and saddled to get $79.99. Got to get it. That's what's dictated. It's got to be $79.99. I'm going to do better right now. We're going to make it even lower. We're going to make it affordable. We're going to let you in, make up your own price. Five carat 10, what's not to love and the way it looks. Wait to see this on the hand. You can have any gold color. Obviously the size we make sure we take care of you there so you have it when it arrives ready to wear. It doesn't have to be that piece that you're going, oh, now I got to take it to a jeweler and spend more money. No, 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 no. It arrives ready to wear. That's the beauty of it. And it's not going to be 79 because you're going to want to start wearing that the second it arrives. Tear open that box and put it on and have it be the perfect fit. Speaking of, here's what it's going to look like when you do have the perfect fit. Red's just dazzling in every which way possible. And no longer $79.99. We had a flurry of phone calls. They're not on this. So here's what we'll do. Oh, the reds are just really, this is red flash at its best. That's why it was put aside from the very early days. And it's not going to be seven or six or five or four. It's not too late to get one, but we're getting really close. We're approaching that day when we're going to be completely sold out. And I want you to get the best without having to spend a lot of money. And it's not even $3,500 to get it started. Let's go crazy. This is what it's all about. The blue wing block D best of the best the world over. It's not just the best here. It's not just the best on TV. It's not just the best in the U S this is the best ever overall. That's a thrill. And now you're getting the best of the best because it's the museum reserve and it doesn't have to be 35. Not if we got no phone lines locked up. We got to get these phone lines rocking. It's our very last hour. It's our Wednesday night. What else do you need to see? What can we put up there for you? What can we bring you value on? Is it Tanzanite? Because there's a little surprise after this, which I realize a lot of people are saying, why would I bid on this if there's a surprise coming up? The surprise is a pendant. It's a pendant. I have had in all the years of Blue Wing, I've only had, I think, six pendants ever. And two of those were like 29 and 25 carat stones. They weren't for everybody. 29 carats still here, by the way. 
but this one's going to be for everybody. Well, within reason, we've only got a couple of stones. So at least the price tag will be for everybody. This one's got to go first though. Then we'll have the match. It's actually going to be a square cushion pendant. It's petite. It's great for gifting. It's great for matching. It's great for all of you that blue wing blockies and rings and you want a pendant to match. But as far as rings go, if you're still waiting to get your ring first, here's the way you consider going right now to the cushion cut level. And we're not going to make this $3,500 or $3,000 to start. So there's an $8,000 price tag that I am to get tonight. I've obviously left that behind. We are going to cheat here and we're going to get you a value that's going to make sure it disappears. And the only way to do that is take it even lower because I'm still waiting and open. Let's go $2,500 to start the bidding. And you're getting a free carrot of one in diamonds. We're going to have a $10 increment, so that makes that part of it easy. And we are awaiting our open at a $2,500 discount because that's an $8,000 ring. So we're looking at a $5,500 savings potentially. I say potential because we do need the open if we're going to get this one gone. It's got to start somewhere. But there we go. And that's the way you shop a Blue Wing Block D Museum Reserve, no less. So that's extremely important. High value, high level material, and yet here it is. And nobody at 25. Let's keep moving. We got the surprise for you, which no longer is a surprise. We told you it's a pendant, but we're going to do the grand reveal coming up where you can see what it is that we're going to make available to as many people as possible. And it's the, well, here's the headline. It's the most affordable Blue Wing Block D we have in our collection. Something, a price tag, we have only seen, I believe three times ever, in over five years of bringing it. No open on this one, shame on me. All right, let's move on because that's not even the price it's supposed to be. So I'll just show it on the hand one more time really quickly and then I'm gonna show you. The pendant that we have coming up next. This is my little surprise that I should have probably told you about at the beginning of the show. And the reason I was not allowed to tell you about it was because it was going to be a situation where we would light, we would anticipate the lines would light up to the point where early on we couldn't bring it out. We have very few to go around because you know it's rare to get any uh, blue wing block D in more than one. Here's the pendant that we have coming up. It is a square cushion cut with a very large diamond right above it that is important in its own right. We'll talk about that. This piece though, it's because the color is blue wing block D. If you have a trillion, a heart shape, a round, an asher, an emerald cut, a cushion, a pear, whatever shape you have, if you've got blue wing block D, we can't give you a pendant with every type of variety in cutting. So what we did was we chose this square cushion, which we know is beloved. We want to put a huge value together for you, maybe giftable perhaps, because obviously if it's a blue wing block D that's $3,500, $4,500, $5,500 and the like, that's not always in the giftable price range for everybody. This is our surprise of the night. So limited, I could not. I was literally not allowed to tell you about it prior in the last two hours and 10 minutes. We've had 130 minutes go by and I have not been able to utter those words, Tanzanite pendant, for fear that everybody was going to wait and not shop the rest of the show. But then also, if we showed it earlier, when we had a big, big audience, it would be disappointing to a lot of people who didn't get one. We have such a limited quantity to go around because there's only a couple stones that will be exact matches to this cushion cut square. I would dial in early. I've only had affordability like this in blue wing block D's a couple of times in over five years of bringing it to you almost every single day. That is the big attraction here. I bet there are a lot of people who are loving loving owning and loving wearing their blue wing block D collectibles in rings. That is most of what we've had over the years. This is the pendant that's going to go with your stone. As long as you have a blue wing block D, this will match. The colors will match. The red flashes will match. The blues, the violets, the neons, all of that is going to be the same. So even if your cut differs, that's okay too. If you have a square cushion, perfect match made in heaven. If you have any of the other cuts in the world, that works too. It's still going to work together. It's still going to match and it's still going to look amazing. But we need a collar or two or three, just three. That's why we couldn't show it in the early two hours. Because as the weeknights wear on, usually the audience dwindles a bit. And that's where we had to wait because we did not want to just make and upset hundreds and hundreds of people who couldn't get in. And that's the idea. Take a look at it. We need a collar. Just give me three collars and call early, look at the reds. And we know this about the smaller stones. And do you remember the other day when I had two carat Asher cut that I didn't show you? 
And why didn't I show it to you? Because it was $79.99 for a two carat. And so what I'm doing now is bringing 1123933. It is a surprise for tonight. And we have two callers already. Thank you so much for calling in early. You're going to be glad you did because it's rare to see anything this affordable at all, especially when we've got a two carat 09 minimum, Tony, since we have a couple. My smallest is the one you're seeing here, which is the 209. It is a rare cut to get a square cushion, and we have four callers now. Now, that doesn't mean callers five, six, seven, eight don't come in. Not every one of the four callers on the line is going to take one. Right? They, not everyone takes one. But if you want a chance, you come on in early. Now, what's going on with that one big diamond? Because that's a very significant diamond. It's a, first of all, princess cut, which is shown off by the fact it's bezel set in a border of gold to show that off. And that's angled just like the square cushion is. One's a square, one's a square. One's a more stark square. The princess cut diamond has straight sides. The cushion cut has softer sides. But the fact that they're both square, that's why we were inspired to meet them point to point. So when you see it on your neckline, when you put your favorite chain through it, this one's going to be best for a more delicate chain, I will say. I do want to show you the basket work and the way it's built from the inside to the side profile on out. So I could set it like this, but I want to show you up on the hand again by itself how it's going to look, what the size is going to be. Take a look at this against the hand, all the saturation levels there. Here's your measurement. So, and then you'll see it on the neckline and we are very busy on the phone lines. Thank you so much. It's not going to last. You can see it's over a half an inch top to bottom, five eighths. All set at an angle. Prongs at the compass points. Look at the, from a distance, look at the reds. That's what's prominent here. And we are going to bring what should be tonight. I'm going to show you. It is a 2000. I'm not kidding you guys. There it is. $2,999 pendant. And you know what? We could sell each and every one of them out right now as I show it on the neckline. We will sell them out at $29.99. The good news is I don't have to. I'm not asking for $29.99. I'm not. I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking. Well, Look at this, we've got seven callers on the line. Remember what I told you, how limited we are. If you haven't dialed yet, give yourself a chance. Go ahead and call in right now, because you never know. I don't know if one person's gonna take all three. I don't know if two people are gonna bow out. I don't know what's happening. I know this, you can have any gold you want, white, yellow, or rose. It looks gorgeous on. It's that classic, simplistic style, but still with an edge. It's modern, it's fresh, it's a little different. And it's going to be any setting you want, but that is some super fine. Who says you need to get a huge stone to get the red flashes? Not with blue wing block D. Operators yell them out when you got one or two. I'm not even limiting. If someone, the first caller wants to take all three, they can do it. But we know it's not going to last because it's also, oh, it may be sold out at $29.99. You guys know value. You know it. I know it. This should have been our top of the hour. Yeah, if I had 100 of them. This would have been my, this would have been the piece that I've been telling you about for two, three weeks straight. If I had an unlimited supply, if I had a hundred of them, I would have given you a heads up. I would have said, be here on Wednesday night, be here, be here on April 17th, because you can't miss that deal. You know what? We got no heads up on it. We didn't get to tell you because that's all I got. It's not an unlimited supply. I don't have enough to go around for everybody. And it's not even going to be $29.99. That's clearly going to sell them out. But you know a value and you know me. You know what I'm going to do. I will bring it to the best possible price tag because I know how many of you are out there wanting to have a match set, wanting to get a blue wing block D and a pendant to go with your rings, to go with your earrings, to go with a bracelet if you have one. We haven't had many of those. But this is the way to do it. And you saw 5241 up there. Thank you, Tony. It's now it was $29.99 because you got a low, low price coming your way. And I mean low, low, like L O W, L O W that kind of low and it's not going to be even 1999 only three white yellow or rose that is a very large i didn't even give you the carat weight oh my goodness princess cut diamond it's an eight pointer it's an eight pointer on its own that is a significant size because that's an individual stone so that's a big deal too you're getting an eight point vs princess cut diamond right there at the top that is your bail and it's also not going to be 19 18 17 16. We were selling them out. It looks like at $29.99. Well, it's not even $16, $15, or $14.99. You're getting at least a two carat 09. I think the second one is $240. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I don't even want to get I just you're getting at least 209. This is the 209. 
If you're the first callers, you're going to get an even larger stone. So all I can say is dial in now because it's not even $14.99 and that is already a deal. Oh yeah, I'm going lower. Oh yeah, I am. And they don't, we don't need to. They'll sell out 100%. It's not 14, it's not 13, it's not 12.99. Don't wait. Because I have no, well, I have one other pendant. It's the 29 carat. I have a 29 carat tanzanite. It's great if you want to spend $25,000. It's amazing. But if you don't want to spend $25,000 and you want a blue ink locked in a pendant, this is where you've got to go. And it's not 12, it's not 11, it's not 1099. There have only been truly a handful of pieces in blue wing ever that have been priced like this. And it's not even $10.99. I'm blowing it out right now. Operators, let me know if you got one. $9.99 for the pendant in white, yellow. I have to keep track. You have to yell them out. I can't oversell this. Obviously, you know it's a private collection. You know we have what we have. Thank you so much. So let me know if you're getting one, and then we're going to march on. Because when it's gone, it's gone. Nothing I can do. And it'll be that piece that, yeah, we're not going to have another pendant except the 29 carat. And I can bring it out. If you want to see the 29 carat round, it's a Portuguese cut. It's gorgeous. It's got a ton of diamond weight to go with it as well. It's here if you want it. But if you don't want to spend $25,000, which let's face it, we all want to, but very few of us can. If you don't have $25,000 to spend on a pendant, then you get this. And you get your blue wing and you get over two carats and you get that divine color and you get a really important diamond right up top in that single princess cut and it's $9.99. And if you want to go ahead and talk about that big five carat tin in the ring that we just had, that's still here as well. So Jason, are you getting a pendant? No. Okay. No, he is not. But he's on the phone, but not. not no pendant? Okay. So no pendant over there. So let me know if anybody else is thinking about one. Allison, let me know. Jess, let me know. How many? Are you getting one? Okay. So it looks like we have one left. And then that two t or five ten. We need to get that one home too. That's the ring. You know what's here? Something really rare. Take a guess. What do you think that is? Wait, it's red and it's green, so it's Alexandrite, right? Nope, it's more rare. <laughs> what is more rare in this world than Alexandrite? Think about it. There's only a few stones that can be called rarer than Alexandrite. We got one and it's coming up. So that'll be here. It's collectible rare gem. Let me know if anybody wants that last one. We got to keep on moving. $999 for a blue wing black D that's over two carats and a square cushion. Yeah, here it is on the hand one more time. This goes, I mean, really round cushion, pear, oval. What do you have? Do you have a princess cut, an asher cut? Do you have an emerald cut? What matters is, because here's the problem, a lot of people would say, well, I've got a round blue wing. So I'm well, actually a round would look great with a square cushion. They're very similar. Round, asher and square cushion are the most similar in the way they're cut because they're all proportional and, you know, again, same width as they are length, right? So that's why they all look great together. But remember the problem, even if you have a pear shape, a cushion cut, an elongated emerald cut, whatever it is, if you're going out somewhere else to find a match in your cut, the problem is anywhere else is going to have a totally different quality and therefore totally different color. So if the color doesn't match, I don't really think it's a match, right? Forget, think less about the match of the cut. Think more about matching the color because that's what's so unique and rare to find is when obviously we're the only ones that have this material. So anywhere else you were to shop, you're not going to get nearly the saturation level. So if you have a stone from us, if you have a ring from us, an earring from us, then you really want to prioritize getting a blue wing block D for your quality and then l worry less about the cutting matching because I think that being matchy, matchy, matchy in your head to toe set is less of a priority these days anyways by jewelry collectors generally because, you know, it almost looks less important that way. You like to have a little mix and match. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, um, you know what I'm going to do? I was going to bring it back out, Jess, because if it's still here, I thought we'd give it a little love after the surprise. I think a lot of people were waiting for the surprise and then wanted to wait and see what that was before they thought about, thought about the ring. So we're going to bring that ring back, and we'll bring it back right after this. I'm going to give this 30 seconds, and we'll see if the last one's gone. I do. Teresa, Teresa and we do actually have Benito White. They're extremely pricey. 
I've got a, what did I see the other day? I have a half carat Benita white. It's about a hundred grand. Um, let's see, gold stackle ring, pear shape, yellow diamond. Oh, I don't know, Maria, which one? And golden pearl drop earrings. We don't have any Jill at the moment. And yes, Jill, I, I often pierce my nails. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It'll probably be happening next go around, yes. Yes, I do. Quite often, Jill. And then let's see. Um, so I'm just catching up on some requests and messages here. Uh, ch 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 pear shape, stackable. Maria, if you have any other descriptors on that, I am not picturing which ring you're talking about exactly. So if you have any other descriptors, Maria G, I'll be able to figure that out maybe and let you know if we have anything else uh, color wise with that particular design. And Teresa, let me know if you want to see our Benito Whites. We have even smaller stones that we have in Benito Whites are quite pricey. I think our most affordable Benito White is around $3,000, but we'd be happy to bring them out for you. But just be aware that's a really rare stone as well. But yes, we have them. Yes, we do. We definitely have Benito Whites. I think we have maybe six or seven of them. Yeah, in, in house. All right, let's go to the ring now. Unless Jess, you didn't get this one already. We're verifying. All right, so let's talk about this. This is going to be, well, I know I just had it, but I just, I know a lot of you wanted to see the grand reveal on the pendant. So here's the ring coming back. One, one, two, three, eight, three, six. We'll make this brief. This is a very special stone. It's a 510 and then it's got the 101 in the diamond weight. And that is, yep, museum reserve again. So we're really traditional. We've got the traditional cushion cut going on here. We've got all the diamonds going side to side. I don't know why I zoomed back so far, but I did. But here's what we'll do on this one and call us on the pendant, see where that's at. Because I don't know, I'm not getting an accurate count from my operators here. Jason may be getting one after all. So if that's the case, then we're going to change the quantity. We might be sold out. But if you'd like this one, what do we do? We did $79.99. We dropped it to $2,500. Mm, you know what? I don't really want to revisit the auction because I look up the clock and I see we have 35 minutes, 36 actually. So you know what? Let's just do this. If you want it, we're blowing out pieces anyways. Let's make it $2,499 for a scholar and just send it out that way. And then the pendant, let me know when that's sold out. We have that stone that I told you is rarer than Alexandra. Right? We'll show that coming up. And then any other requests you have. Andy, I know that Jill was looking for golden pearl drop earrings, but you haven't seen anything new, have you? Because I know we don't have any currently, but nothing new. Okay, nothing new. And then Maria, I just don't know which ring. Do you guys know what pear-shaped yellow diamond ring we had that was stackable? I'm not picturing it. Oh, okay, so Andy's checking on that, Maria G, and then also Teresa, let me know if you want. Give us another message if you want to see our Benita Whites, because I know they're very pricey. Um, yes. Did you get a pendant? No? <laughs> we still have a pendant left. All right, so let's go. That's $24.99. Sounds like that one's verifying as well. Okay. Well, we're going to get to that stone that I gave you a little hint. Okie dokie. Here we go. And I know if you've watched our show in recent months, you may have seen a couple of these. But I am ever so fascinated by the stone because I had never really sold much gem quality material before. Loose stones, yes. Little specimens here and there, yes. But not a gem quality stone like this. And there is a, there's a lot to be said for stones that change color. Like Alexandrite. Changes from green to red. Or in the case of the Brazilian stones, blue, green to red. This is 1123952. And what we haven't seen too often in the stone in the couple we've had is this large size. They've mostly been tiny. This is 60 points. Rarer than Alexandrite was the hint I gave. And it is because gem quality material, very difficult to find. It is hard enough and meaning durable enough for daily wear. So you got about a seven, seven and a half on the Mohs scale. So you're good to wear it every day. I always say seven or greater. If it falls into a seven or greater category on the Mohs, you're good to wear it every day. Don't worry about it. Don't baby it. Just wear it. It has 70 points in diamonds in the signature style. Around a pear shape that is our one and only Andalusite. Love it. You know why? Because for all the Alexandrites that I've had and that I love, Alexandrites, you need a very specific light to see the color change happen. You need to go from incandescent, rather fluorescent lighting to incandescent or incandescent to fluorescent back and forth. It's really tough to be in a completely incandescent light environment at any given point, which you would need to do to see your color change Alexandrite. 
This is Brazilian andalusite. And my argument for it is, it's not a color changing stone. Instead, it's highly pleochroic. Even pleochroism usually plays as one color comes through in one light and another comes through in another light and they're similar colors. That's what I find fascinating about andalusite is that they're very drastically different colors that are coming through at the same time. So it's like a mosaic or a kaleidoscope of colors instead of having to get one color in one light and then go to a completely different environment and see another color and then they go back and forth. This is where it's all the colors, the green and the red, are happening at the same time as you can see here. It's happening right here. Look at that. And 70 points in diamond weight around it as well. That's incredible. And it's finished on the inside all the way through. Excuse the little residue from the inventory tag, but there it is all the way through. And even can we just, if you can look past the little, you know, don't look at this, look at the stone color. Again, it almost looks like a, like a pattern. It looks like a grid-like pattern of different, oh, you think this could be it? Okay, so Maria, we're going to flash something for you. I, I wasn't thinking about this. Yeah, it could be the charm ring. Could be. All right, so this is, but this is the yellow diamond. She wanted to know, she wanted to know, I guess I should have finished the thought. She wanted to know if there was anything else set like this. Okay. Well, we have the charm ring with a yellow diamond, which I could show because it's a really cool ring. But anyway, uh, this is going to be, just want to show you through the inside. Do you see how it's almost pink, red, purple, and green? All the way through the inside so that same pattern it's always happening you see this and then you realize this is a stone super rare seven on the most scale highly 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 pleochroic with red pleochroism that's what normally doesn't play in the pleochroism and we're gonna blow it out right now if you'd like it i know it's rare i know it's wearable i know it's cool i know it's different i know a lot of us don't have one yet my goal is to change that right now. Let's change it. Let's give you something amazing. Let's go. Let's give you a great value. It is so amazing. And it's not even going to be $49.99. Best part of all, we take the rare, I don't care how rare it is, we make it affordable, and yet this has 70 points in diamonds. That is no small feat. That's, that's really cool. I'm a little amazed right now. And if you've never heard of it, even more reason to own it because that tells you it's rare. It's special. Did you get the five carat tin tans tonight? Might still be here. New registers, at, do we have we added new registers today? Couple maybe, yeah. Couple new registers, welcome in. This is not going to be 49, 39, 29. I need to skip that because we have 30 minutes left. Yikes, where does the time go? We have very little time left and we got, you know, out of all these exotics we've seen tonight, arguably the most rare and exotic is sitting right here right now. And it's not even going to be $29 or $19.99. This is a value. When you do this for as long as I have, at this point, you've brought it all, you've seen it all, you know it all. You guys learned about exotic gems for many, many years from myself and others doing it on TV. But here's the thing. To be able to make exotics unattainable, affordable, there's a reason exotics are exotics, and usually it goes with obviously the accessibility or lack thereof. And then certainly if you were to come across something exotic like this, what would the price be in the real world? What would it cost you to get something like this? What's it gonna cost? It's usually the more expensive of the material. It's more money. Not here, not now. This is not 1999. I would love for you to try it. That's been my philosophy for years. If I'm gonna bring exotics, Let's find a way to bring them where we can still make them affordable because what good is showing you something? Listen, there's people that go to museums all the time. Some people do it because they live in their hometowns. They got a great museum they like to frequent and see what's new. Some people travel specifically on vacations, make a point to go to museums to learn, to educate, to see the world, to see things they've read about or seen photographs of. And they want to see it in person for a few brief moments and be wowed. I love doing that. I love, there's nothing better than spending an afternoon in a museum especially when you've never been to. But this is where the museum comes to you, and it's affordable. It's affordable, and we've decked it out in 70 points in VS Diamonds, and you don't have to pay $19.99 either. Let's try it on so you are sure to see the scale and size of this ring. It looks amazing no matter what light you're in. You're always going to see these multiple colors at the same time, even from a distance away. Look at how you still see the greens and the reds. 
very truly segmented as they are so you can see these different colors. It is, it's like when you were a kid looking through a kaleidoscope and it just is fascinating. And it's from Brazil. This is actually, there's a lot of people who think about Andalusia and they think of Spain and they think, well, that must be the origin when it's not. It's a bit of a misnomer. It's actually, um, there are a couple sources for it. Ours are Brazilian, but yeah, it's not a Spain stone. It's actually not a Spanish stone. It's actually, but it's named Andalusite. It's not even gonna be a thousand dollars. So at this point you can get it for the diamond mounting and toss the Andalusite if you want to. But before you do, if you do toss it, toss it to a museum because they'd love to have it. I mean, it's really cool to see high quality material. Most of the Andalusite you might see, I know in the past when I saw it, it was really brown. That was it. It was just brown. It was still cool, but brown didn't have the cool features of green, red, green, red, green, red. We think about stains that change from green to red. We think about alexandrites that change from green to red. But again, you need two separate light sources to do that. This is where any light source all day long, as you wear it, you're seeing all the colors all at once. And it's not going to be $1,000. It's $9.99 just to send it out. Got to make it quick. When we got less than 30 minutes left in our Wednesday together, we got to make this snappy. So $1,000 is not the price. It's $9.99. And we'll see who's got it. And it's really special. They don't all look like that. Even if you were to go find, let's say you went to the Andalusite store. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend. Pretend there was an Andalusite store. Maybe there's a, let's make a better realistic example. Let's say there was a little section of Andalusites, maybe two in a museum. Even if you saw two Andalusites in a museum sitting side by side, they likely wouldn't look like this. This is the ultimate gem quality, gem level material that we're looking at. That's why it's so special. That's why it's so, again, many tones of color. I'm moving it side to side so you can see exactly what's happening. It's fascinating. There's a lot of play with crook stones out there, but most of them don't play with the red. And most of them are just tonal colors like kunzite. When you get kunzite that's pleochroic, it's highly pleochroic, but what it is, it's always pink or blue or purple, all kind of the same semblance of color. They're in the same theme of color, right? Pink, purple, blue, and different saturations thereof. That's what most pleochroic stones do. This one's giving you totally different opposite colors. Does anyone have it? So $9.99, 60 seconds left, and I hope it goes. and we have no onyx men's rings in the house. Just for that request for George, we have no onyx. I have no onyx in the house, not in a men's ring. Sorry about that. I don't, I have no onyx, but I'll let you know if I do. I'll let you know. Okay, that's here in 30 seconds left. We gotta go. No onyx. That you guys, hey, I said at the beginning of the show, stump me. Ask me for requests, and there, there's one of them. That's one thing we do not have. I don't have onyx. I have a little bit of onyx in some ladies' pieces, but not any onyx in gents rings. Used to, but not these days. Okay, so 9.99, 15 seconds remaining. This is what I affectionately call the charm ring. I just think this is such a fun ring. And I'm wondering, this is how I like to wear the charm ring as a pinky ring. Take a look at this, and I, I, this was inspired by request, and this is an awfully big diamond. So I'm a little bit amazed at this price tag, but I'm gonna give it away, because I know here we are, unexpected to see the charm ring here. I am just put it on, it's a smaller size right now, so I just decided to put it on as a pinky ring, but it works anywhere, including the thumb. It would be great as a thumb ring, but it's a really large diamond here. This is not a small charm. Charm almost sounds like small. This is not small. This is 1115724. It can be sized to any size you want. It's a gold band, that's how it starts. Then it's got this drape, which is, yes, it's like one of my favorite sayings is, it's jewelry wearing jewelry. This is like your ring is wearing a pendant. And therefore it's stackable. You can wear it anywhere you want. Uh, you could put it next to another ring and have that be the most cool, chic ring guard ever. You can do whatever you want. Now, I, can, I really do recommend having the stone drape away from the hand. That's the best idea. If you're gonna try to have it defy gravity, it gets a little tricky. Meant to go down the finger towards the fingertip. 
and that's how when you and if you think that's going to be a weird ring to wear honestly i thought so <laughs> when i first saw this design in a white diamond the first time we ever had it i said I'm going to need to wear that for a few days and I really fully expected to say yeah we're not going to sell that because I, I don't you know like to sell things that if they're uncomfortable or strange or complicated I, I don't really feel like we need to sell it. This one I was amazed just amazed it's got movement you feel a little bit of that movement but it's really and it never flips fully over which is why you can't really wear it the other way. This is finished in the back it's a beautifully set stone where it's actually a bezel and prongs together. I'm going to show it up close because this is our 50 point natural yellow yeah it says minimum yeah I'm glad it does because this one clearly I can tell you without taking that stone out and putting it on a scale that that's bigger than 50 points because that just is you can see the elongation of it of course uh, this is a solid band all the way around so look at the inside the band all the way around completely solid finished all the way through this is just a really special ring and I bet ya, not everybody has something already like it. And that's what's fun is that there's still a million ways to wear it. And you can really, it's a personality piece. Trust me, you can't wear this and not get compliments on it. And it's only in yellow gold to go with that yellow diamond and match that back. But this is one huge value. And it stays. I mean, you can put it on the ring finger. You could put that next to a solitaire. I love the idea of the stack. It could blend right in. You know what it could do? Signet ring. If you got that signet ring, obviously our square variety that it has that flush side, you can put it right next to a squared off signet ring. It'd look amazing. If you want to add a little bling, you can do that. But the whole deal is this $39.99, great value for a big yellow diamond that's natural. VS, natural in color, VS in clarity, love all that. This is not going to be $39.99. It's also $999. Just want to throw that out there because that's a big value to have, a big value to get, and a really, really good one to make somebody's day right there. And I'm going to put it back on my hand here. I don't think this size is going to fit on my ring finger, but I'm going to, nope, I'm not going to try it because it might be stuck there forever. But this is what it looks like as a pinky ring on me. I want to show you, um, let me show you the ways it'll look. I'll just kind of hold it over here as well so you can see what it would look like. Same kind of concept here. Always going to drape down the finger if you want to wear it on the ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb ring. Actually be really cool. Something about that teardrop shape that is extending from that O-ring, which think of it like when we see a pendant as part of a necklace. Jess, do you have, um, whenever you get a chance, thank you. And then here we go. Do you have this one? All right, so it sounds like we're verifying on the big diamond. Big yellow diamond in a, what I call the charm ring, but again, not a small stone. It's a nice big stone there. I do. I love it as a thumb ring. I love it as a pinky ring. And I know how many of you usually ask for something new, fresh, different. I want to show you the inside. Look at how it's finished. So see the sides are wrapped in gold. There's that dual setting, bezel and prongs. So that stone, it's a big stone. So you want to make sure it's set really securely. So we did. And then that O-ring, also super secure, keeps it attached. You see that there's actually a loop that then intersects perpendicularly to another loop so that it sits properly draping down the hand. So that, and it's always gonna have that little bit of movement. It's not just a stationary piece. It doesn't stay sedentary when it's on the hand. Your movement gives it movement. But yet it's really, it's very comfortable. I know I say that because I know it's a new concept probably. You probably don't have a lot of rings already that have these extra, you know, extensions and pieces hanging from them, right? It's different, it's designer, it's cool, it's, it's that little eye-catching piece because there is something that's giving a little bit of extra movement that you don't expect to see from a ring. But look how beautiful it is. And obviously, if you're completely upright, I'm at an angle here, so you see what it can do. And it will if you're just, you know, really moving your hand around in every which way it moves, right? It's going to give you a little bit of movement, but it's, it sits like any other ring. It fits like any other ring. Go true to size on it. And yet you'll be, I think you should try it. And for $9.99, you try it. And you never know, this might be the piece I, I wear. That's not my signet ring. I'm so used to having my signet ring on. But imagine this, and I, again, they're all different sizes right now, but imagine this. I would do this in a heartbeat if I could. I, I don't think I'm gonna get the luxury of getting one, but this is the ring I wear every single day of my life. And I love it. And it's already a big piece and a lot of presents and it's three quarters of a square wide. But you know what? Look how beautifully, because that straight side with the straight band, 
I could put this next and look how beautiful that just adds. It all looks like it's one ring and I'm simulating what this could look like with a lot of rings you have. Maybe it's not this exact signet ring, sure, certainly, but I know a lot of you own this as well. But if you have any ring with a straight side, which a lot of rings do, you can have this as a ring guard, as a ring stackable, a band that you stack with it. I mean, it really gives you, it lends itself to a lot of versatility and you get it home and you play with it. You play with it, you try it on in different ways, and you have fun with it. You're gonna love it. You really will love it. It's so cool. And it's a big diamond and it's $9.99. So you got the value there. You've got probably something different from what you already have, which isn't that what we're always striving to do and still with our best intentions, sometimes we don't achieve it. Like, right, with some, it's hard. We, I always say we like what we like. So sometimes we tend to just get the same kinds of things over and over. This is where you could really, yeah, if you're ready to branch out or you're looking for a cool gift idea for the gal that's got everything, she's got, every, you know, we all have that lady in our life. Oh, she's got everything. She's got everything. What do I get her? She's got it all. She's got it. This, this one she probably doesn't have. She probably does not have a ring like this. And how amazing to get a big yellow diamond that's natural in the process. And nobody needs to know you spend under $1,000 to get it. And that's the coolest part. I wish I could try it on all over the hand, but again, this one's a smaller size right now. I'm just putting it on the pinky, but obviously we are sizing this to what size you need. So it goes anywhere, including the thumb. I would wear it personally here or here. That's where I would choose to wear it or stacked next to. That's where I would get two sizes because my where I wear my signet ring, I usually wear on my index finger. So that's a different size than my thumb. So maybe you get two. Maybe you get two and you get one in each size and you wear them different ways on different days. And that is a beautiful way to go. Congratulations if you get one. I'm going to keep on moving because we've got a few extra things to show you before the night is over. And uh, if there's any requests you have, anything you'd like to see once again before we go, please let me know what we can recap. We'd love to do that. But this is the ring. You've got to try it. Yellow gold only. So the only decision you're making is what size do you need? So think about or get to, like I was saying, if you know you're going to wear it as a thumb ring, and somewhere else, maybe you get two different sizes. I mean, I wouldn't normally say that. If it was $4,000 still, I wouldn't tell you to get two and spend eight grand. But since it's under $1,000, to get a ring with a big yellow diamond, forget about the style for a minute, just the ring with the big diamond solitaire. This is just a solitaire that doesn't look like any other solitaire. It's essentially the movement, the articulation of the charm ring. Such a beautiful design. Congrats if you get it. $9.99, we're gonna keep on moving. Seriously, I have got to get one of those. I don't think I will because it looks like it's gonna sell out, but I love it next to anything big and bold. I love it next to anything like a solitaire you have. Maybe you have a diamond solitaire that sits up in a basket like most solitaires do. You could put this next to it as the coolest wedding set ever. I mean, it just is versatility beyond. Such a cool gift idea something she does not have, something we do not have, something you probably don't have. Try it out. You have nothing to lose except, well, the chance right now because the quantity, yeah, you know how that works. That's always the big problem is we have a little lack of quantity because we're always dealing with such a fine quality. So it means we got the good quality, but we're never going to have as many as we want to have of anything. That's for sure. We have a huge mandarin garnet coming up. I have, okay, if you're a mandarin lover, You've got to see this stone. I know it's not small, and I know it's not for everybody. I'm going to show this on the hand so you can see the size of this ring overall before we set it down because, wow, is it big. And look at this. And keep calling. Yellow diamond charm ring. Let me know. Look at this, though. I'd be, I'd be, it'd be foolish if I didn't show it to you because it's got a markdown. And it's item number 1119257. And we have 14 minutes, so if there's anything you want to see again, we still got a few items from the show. Anything you want to see me bring back? Let me know. That'll help you make the decision. But this Mandarin is a 10 carat 36. It's got a carat 56. Those are nine rows, nine rows of diamonds. And it's kind of like a bridge because when you look at this close, you'll notice that the diamonds go all the way side to side and under the stone too. So this is not just diamonds around the stone. They go underneath it. That is, have you ever seen a bridge that looks like this? Nine rows, kind of a saddle meets a bridge, meets a highway design meets a wide band, cigar band style. This is the coolest ring and the Mandarin is colossal. And we're bringing it out because it's discounted and the end of the night is here. So let's send it out right now. Don't forget about the Andalusite. 
check on that one. See if that's available. We got a big yellow diamond to show you. We have a couple things to recap. Big Star Sapphire, all of our tourmalines. Oh, the Parahiba's here. The big Parahiba, the four carat Parahiba's still here. If you wanna check on that, you might've missed it because I showed it really early, yes. Can you show us the two pound diamond? Yes, I can. I have it right here for you. Who was it for? Karen, let's show the 60 point white diamond again for you, Karen. Here it is. And then we'll get right back to that Mandarin. Here's the 60 pointer we started with earlier. Um, I may actually skip the one carat that I flashed because it had a little bit of extra body color than I like to, than I like to yell and scream about. So yeah, we might have to switch that diamond. But I, this one I like. This is our 60 pointer, triple one, 1428 was the item number. It stays in the white gold. And this will be 60 white diamond center, 56 around it. And that would be, wow, $16.99, okay. $16.99, one only, and then I'll try it on the hand for you. That is some powerful, brilliant flash in that 60-point stone. That's just a shade under two-thirds of a carat, by the way, so that's no small stone. And it looks, and it's got the hidden hearts as well, where you've got that heart-shaped design in gold around your diamonds there on the sides that'll create that point down either direction of the band. And then this is what it looks like on. Uh, it does have to stay in the white, but we can size it for you. And that's what you get for the look overall right there. So $16.99, just to recap on that one from earlier in our way back first hour. Does Karen have any questions on that ring? I assume she's on the line. It's sold. Congratulations. We can go back up close to our Mandarin now. 10 carat 36. We'll zoom back out. And talk about this carat 56 in diamonds. All the yes diamonds, yes, of course, it's in the yellow gold. You actually don't have to leave it that way if you don't want to. And it was, well, it was 24,000 <laughs> at one point. Do we need to change that? Don't worry, we have a smaller man than two. So we've got the 10 and we've got a 186. So we've got two options. But this 1036 is special. And I literally am bringing it out now simply because the markdown tonight is just that good, where it's got to go. And we are going to bring it down right now from the very, very big price of 24. Actually, it was 24914 was the price tag on the bag. It, it, it's had a lot of markdowns, a series of markdowns. The last markdown was $79.99, so it's, it's had a lot of different mileposts, if you will, between $24,000 and $79.99, but I'll spare you all those details and we'll just drop it yet again. So the lowest, we've got $79.99 here on this bag. We're going to make sure it's a lot better for you. Let's send it out. Let's get it at home. It's the largest Mandarin we have. It is specialty, no doubt. It is not going to be $79, $69, $59. I don't believe this, but it's not even $49.99. And you know this stone. We've been talking about the smaller sizes of late because the smaller is all we can bring you because the price tags have been elevating at the level of Paraiba. So mandarins and Paraibas have been elevating more in price tag than any other gems in the world. And that's saying something because they've all been elevating all the time. So it's exciting to see such a really special and important piece. And yet... It's going to be less than even $3,999. I cannot believe it. With the carat 56, with the nine rows, think about what nine diamond bands would cost you. Think about it. What's, what are, if you went out and said, great, there's a jewelry store. I'm going to go in, see if they have a diamond band. Great, they do. I'll take nine of them. What would you pay for nine individual diamond bands? Because that's what's making this ring. And then it just so happens that that's the foundation for what's setting a 10 carat 36 huge mandarin. And it's not even $39.99 because the way I look at it is my math. This is shopper's math. I look at it this way, $39.99 divided by nine. That's $444. Would you ever spend $444 for a diamond band? Then that would be if the mandarin 10 carat 36 is free. And we're not doing, on speaking of a lot of bands, we've got the highway ring coming back out, which has five rows in diamonds, which I usually use the same math, right? I say the same thing, 444 a band, you'd never be able to do that. Now we're taking it lower in the price and making it 3888 for the Mandarin, which is completely free. And the highway ring is? Kathy, you've got it coming up next. It's kind of similar, except instead of going all the same direction, it's gonna be that almost woven interlocking style. So one more time, look at the sides. 
those diamonds are like diamond bands because they go from one side to the other and they don't break. And do you see how they're actually concave set? So some in the middle are lower so that they can accommodate that mandarin and then they go a little higher on the outside. That is amazing for 3888. So let me know who's got it because that's going. It's just a value. It's a straight up value and nowhere here I'm talking about the diamonds. I should be talking about the per carat on the man room, which is extremely low right there. And then we'll show the highway ring for Kathy as requested coming up next. But this mandarin also for being a 10 carat plus size, so clean, so bright, so neon. And we're verifying. Let me see who's got it. That one's got to go. No question. Look at the finishing on the inside. Well, that's a pretty view too. Look at that. All slick, mere finish, smooth as silk on the inside. So all that solid gold, that's really why it's just, if you think it's going to be uncomfortable, anything but because of the way that's built. I love that side angle too. It is, it's built like a bridge. It really is. It's a bridge, meets a saddle, meets a highway ring. It's all of those things. Plus the really big important stone perched up top. 38. 88, let me know who's got it. Then we're gonna show Kathy's request here. It's the highway ring with the five rows that do the wrap around interlocking crisscross design. It's item number 1010608. -1 and here we go. So this is the 122 diamond ring. Just had this the other day for you. What a special deal this is. White, yellow rows are options for you. Five rows, but they're crisscrossing their way one side over the other, cross your finger. And it also looks great on the hand. I love this one for also anywhere on the hand. I would say besides thumb and pinky, I would say yes, definite ring in, in index and middle finger. Perfect for that because you see it a little wider, but it's still going to cinch in a little bit top and bottom, but a little bit on other sides there. So you've got that little bit of that concave nature in the way these diamond rows come in. So it's not overly wide from one side to the other. And it's also going to be, well, it went from $39.99 just the other day. I marked it down and made it $1,199 for you. And it's really beautifully, um, so see, see how it does actually overlap? So you get some highs and lows there to the different wraparound design, but it's still going to be low profile on the hand. So you've got that look there. So it doesn't sit up and get interfering with all your daily activities. It's really easy to wear. At 11.99, we're down to six minutes though. So really crunch time is here. Anything you'd like to see again, let us know. Anything you're considering or want to check on availability, do that now because we're in the last final minutes of the show and then we'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same place, seven o'clock. You know the deal. So here we are at 11.99. Kathy, I hope that's the one you're looking for. If not, let us know. It is also available in any gold color you want. I do want to just also remind you that it's going to be split all the way down to the sizing bar in the midpoint of the back. And that's where, again, just gives you a little flexibility to size it down the line. But of course, we're going to size it up front to the size that you need. And if that Mandarin is still here, hmm. Okay, it's verifying. So the Mandarin may be gone, but the Mandarin is not one to wait on. That Mandarin is outstanding. It really, truly is. One of the best Mandarins we've seen color-wise, saturation-wise, neon-wise, size, obviously and then all the extra diamonds underneath it. Really beautiful, it, it truly is. So I, I can't say enough about the Mandarin. If you're thinking about it, try it. Because remember, even with these discounts, you still have the money back guarantee. And then we can bring you, this is gonna prove my point, the band. Karen, thank you, Karen, look at this band. This is kind of what I was thinking when I was saying, walk into a jewelry store and buy nine individual diamond bands. Probably something like this. And they're stackable and they're easy to wear. And this is thumb ring, pinky ring, anywhere you want to wear it. It's item number 1010530. Quick request here, but I'll make it affordable. And this is that halfway around. So diamonds will go from one half to the other side. So split, then the rest is solid mirror finished gold. It's VS diamond, 17 points per band. And I'm showing you two because they stack perfectly. And it's $499. Sure is. 499, gotta make it speedy here because we've got four minutes, so we have got to go. But the highway ring is here for you if you want it. You don't have to be the requester to take it. Same with this one requested by Karen, but you don't have to be the requester to take it. It's 499, I gotta show it on. Got to show you on the hand here as well so you can see how just one looks. I See, I would bring out five if I could and put one on every finger because I love this so much everywhere on the hand. That's what it looks like as a wedding band or on the ring finger. Certainly looks great, certainly stackable. I love it here. 
love it here, love it here, and then look at it as a thumb ring. If you want a classic thumb ring, that's the way to go. It, it's making sure too that no matter what size you get, even if you get a larger size, truth be told, it goes a little more than halfway around. That's so that no matter what, even if you're a smaller or larger size, this one's about a size seven right now, so pretty standard classic size here. But even if you get a larger size, like an eight, nine, 10, you're still gonna have diamonds that when it's on the finger like this, it's still gonna go one half to the other side. So. What I mean is halfway around the side so that you're not seeing blank gold, you're getting diamonds as you look at it, even in a larger size. So really, that's a key element on a band ring where a lot of bands are gonna have diamonds that stop prematurely where once you get a larger size, it may not show you what the look you're going for. So this is that style. We've thought of that, we've considered that, we're making sure the diamonds go at least halfway around for all the different sizes and that's really crucial too. So it just means you get a little bit more like if you get a smaller size, you get diamonds that go more three quarters of the way around instead. That's our final countdown. We have two and a half minutes left in the broadcast. We are signing off then till tomorrow at seven o'clock Pacific, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you'll join us for a big Thursday night. It is one of the bigger nights for value of the week, just saying. So let that be our secret. But this is where, again, $4.99 for a request. Anybody can get them. And then, of course, look how they stack together. So completely, even though these are different sizes slightly, look at how they sit completely flush together. So they are perfect for stacking. You could stack a lot of these, too. You can imagine, since it is a more narrow band, you can, if you want to stack, maybe that's the anniversary band that you want to start getting and commemorate every anniversary every year with a band and start stacking them. Because if you're thinking, well, what's that going to mean 10 years down the line? You would have enough room to stack these. So it's really, it's a beautiful, really thoughtful classic here, but done in the right way with those VS diamonds. So $4.99, final minute 40 left in the show. Thanks again for joining us tonight. We really appreciate having your company and watching and shopping. And thank you to all of our new registers as well. And thank you so much for being here with us back tomorrow to get do it again tomorrow night seven o'clock be here right at the start because we've got some big 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 presentations right at the beginning that you do not want to miss and of course i'll remind you that as we sign off in about 80 seconds here we're still going to be here manning the phone lines so we've still got that phone number that opens up our phone lines keeps them open for a couple minutes after we go off the air so we can continue to help you place orders answer questions even take requests for tomorrow night. So if you have any questions whatsoever, best thing you can do is dial that phone number right now so we can help you out. Uh, big Mandarin's still here, I believe, and there's a couple other key items from the show. Our Big Blue Star Sapphire's here. That was a 9 carat 41. So we have some really important stones and values that are still remaining to get their great classic collector's home. So give those pieces a good home tonight, and I know you'll be happy you did because we showed nothing but the best of the best tonight as we like to do. So thanks again for being with us. Keep calling. Maybe it's the highway ring. Maybe it's the simple classic band you'd like. Maybe it's that big Mandarin or 10 karat plusser. Whatever it is, we're here to help you. Just don't wait because obviously pieces go here after the show. So we don't want you to miss out because you wait till the following day. Call us now. We'll help you out. You get your piece. We'll get it right out to you and you will love it. So thanks again for watching and shopping tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same place. 7 o'clock Pacific, 9 Central. 10 p.m. Eastern and we got three hours of incredible jewelry for our Thursday so I hope to see you then but for now from all of us at TV on we wish you a great Mr. Night. I'm Lauren Blair. We'll see you tomorrow at 7.